Hello, greetings and salutations. I'm Jason Carl from White Wolf, and this is Seattle by Night, our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle. Welcome to episode two. Let's meet <laughs> our <co-reading. laughs> Two. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the new symbol. I'm sorry. That's the new symbol? Yeah. That's two that one, that's the new symbol. You had a super professional thing, and then I, <laughs> yeah, I came in and totally did what I do, which is unfortunate. <laughs> two well, fang gang. As, as <laughs> penance. Yes. Yeah. As penance. You're oh, going no. to be the first to introduce yourself as a member of our vampiric coterie. Oh, it is my great pleasure to do so. Uh, I am Jerry Holkins, uh, and for the purposes of Seattle by Night, uh, I play Jameson Keene, a heist planner from the 1950s who uh, does not fully understand that he is gross to look at. It's a, it's a problem we all have. It's a problem. Yeah, I would say... <laughs> Thanks, Jerry, yeah. for saying that. <laughs> like in uh, real life. <laughs> I like how you didn't clarify yeah. that you're a Nosferatu, mm-hmm. so people... <laughs> just yucky. <laughs> just, just a big, yeah. A yucky man. Yeah. Uh, big help. My big name help. is Dora, and I play Amanda, uh, who is a internal, eternal student. She just recently became a vampire. She's... That's good stuff. Mad deece to look at, but... Uh, <laughs> She, uh, yeah, she's just kind of naive, and she doesn't really know what she's gotten herself into, I think, is just a general idea of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, hello. I'm Jasmine, that bronze girl, Bular. Mm-hmm. And I play Betty, who is uh, a mm. bootlegger turned businesswoman. And she's wealthy, healthy, and a modern woman, and she kind of... I would say is more of the the business, the manager, yeah, Ooh. the manager of the regional manager, yeah, regional manager. <laughs> Betty is nice. nothing yeah. if not managerial. Yeah, mm-hmm. 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 definitely for sure. Uh, hello, I'm Mike. I'm playing Tom Hollandaise. I'm a tattoo artist who's now a vampire, and I don't like it a lot. I'm not good at it, and I don't like it. It sucks. It sucks. Every part of it has been bad so far, and it keeps getting worse. Oh, you know, I want to like feel bad, but every time you say Tom Holland Day, like, <laughs> I just I, are you laugh? Are you laughing at my surname? A little, a little bit. Hmm. Speaking of getting I worse, I was that kind of table. I, I, like, <laughs> it's like, I guess it's like that. It's not a yes and situation. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. I understand. Oh, shit. It's a different kind of storytelling. Some really. shade going on early here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Becoming super text. <laughs> On today's episode. Yeah, that's hurtful. Speaking of getting worse, <laughs> yes. uh, let's recap very briefly uh, what happened in episode one. Indeed. Um, our coterie of um, vampires who want to get in good with the Camarilla faction, mm-hmm. each for their own individual reasons, which have not really been explored yet, mm-hmm. uh, agreed, and I use the word agreed advisedly, to undertake a mission. And the mission is locate and board a derelict cargo ship anchored in the waterway Tacoma, in uh, the port of Tacoma, locate a kindred who is in torpor somewhere aboard this floating rust hulk. Once they locate the kindred, open the mysterious box that they are bringing with them that has been provided by the camera. But thanks to some ingenious thinking and planning and foresight. Veterinary science. Yeah. It's our not coding, that mysterious. Our coder knows what's in the mysterious <laughs> box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is in fact a body, as they guessed. Mm-hmm. But the body is scrunched up to fit inside this container. And it has something that looks very much like a wooden stake shoved through its chest. As we open our scene on the waterway, Jameson Keene has been surreptitiously and invisibly scouting for the vessel in question. He has located the comet, which is at anchor on the waterway. And uh, the rest of the coterie is ready to join him once he alerts them to his discovery. Indeed. But before this occurs, um, I definitely want to use this opportunity they have, you know, unrecognized, unseen, uh, disappeared entirely from the world to see if I can see any trace of Mm -hmm. these Anarchs that Betty mentioned previously um, that are crawling around on this thing. Uh, 
just to kind of give our give us a heads up so that when I go back and try to get the rest of the the uh, coterie, there is an opportunity at least for us to pretend at strategy. Forewarned is forearmed, as they say. Mm -hmm. So let's forewarn ourselves with a role of wits and awareness. Uh, it's a good pool for you. I want me. Yep. You're at six dice yes. without any modifications, Jeez. and you're not hungry at the moment. No. No. For knowledge, you know, but... Mm. Thirsting for yeah. knowledge, you might <laughs> right. say. Is Amanda still hungry? Amanda is at uh, one hunger, and so right. is Betty. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Pecky. Pe a little peckish. Pe He's a little snack. Pecky Betty. Snack. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I I'm so pleased by the heavier weight. I, know. I want one. a set so Oof. bad. I, I, I only want those. All right. Yeah. They're right? beautiful. I love those. Have you seen the blood dye version of those? Mm -hmm. They're so nice. They're so Are pretty. they different than our dice? Over they here? have metal dice. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything one. is better over here. They're gorgeous. Everything, Everything. is better. Now, um, how many successes am I looking for? You're looking for three successes. This is a moderate success. Yeah. That's that's a heap of that's a heap of success. Fifty percent of your dice. Let's see. What we got. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Five. Five. Five successes. Wow. If there were any secrets aboard on the deck of this vessel, they are yours to know. It would be real weird. So, <laughs> two pieces of information. Yeah. One, there is, you don't see movement aboard, but you see a light. There is a light oh. playing in some of the windows. It's, um, there we go. Search it's party. moving from window to window. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably a high-powered flashlight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also hear very, very faintly uh, the sound of a voice carrying across the span of water that separates the dock from the ship. It's a low murmur. You can't make out words. Even with five successes, you can't. It's too far away. It's too far. <laughs> the fact that you heard it at all is amazing. Yeah. But you know that somebody's there, and they are moving around the boat with a light source. Exactly. Now, do I only see one? Like, I, I'm, I'm here looking at the side of the ship. Mm -hmm. You're, do you I see, see this the play? Whole thing. Do I see this playing beam, like in one section? I don't see multiple parties. You don't. You see That's one beam news. playing around. Uh, it looks like it's uh, somewhere near the um, near the forecastle, which is where they where, where the control room is. Yeah. It's way up at the at the highest top of the part of the ship at the moment. Oh, so, so they're starting up here. Where they're finishing. Yeah. True. Who knows? Hmm. Um, all right. Well, that's great news because we can keep an eye on that and board the vessel as mm -hmm. far away from that as possible. Avoid them. Yeah, exactly. So, tell me about the the deck of this. Does this it, this has been in dry dock so long? There's probably not anything like. Uh, there's probably not going to be a lot of robust cover up there. They would have been parted out a long time ago, mm -hmm. sure. The deck itself is pretty clear. If you were standing on the deck, it would be very tough to conceal yourself from anybody who was watching. Right. Um, there's the the forecastle that I mentioned, which is essentially the the control room, which sits you know basically on a giant metal square a yeah. slab. It's got windows around it, 360 degrees, mm -hmm. so it commands a view of the entire deck of the ship fore and aft. But that's the only open space that you can see. The rest of the ship, of course, is below deck where Absolutely. the cargo holds are. Yeah, that's where the, the good stuff is. Likely your, your quarry is there somewhere. Absolutely. Does it look like the anchor chains go up to a point where we could climb from them up onto the deck? They absolutely do. Okay. It might require a feat of strength or athleticism to avoid falling into the uh, greasy, dark water below, but yeah. it can that's, be done. That's the roughest stuff, and so the, the, there's the gangplank, mm -hmm. there's the anchor chain, and there's also the fact that if we just got a little dinghy or a, a little boat that we found floating around yeah. here, we could just get to the side of the ship and climb the ship's body itself. You could even swim it if you if you really had to. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Could I jump it? Since I have soaring you leap. You have a soaring leap. Mm -hmm. I guess I have some soaring leap. I probably can't leap as soaring leap, but it's not it's non zero. Could we like yeah. jump up there and throw a rope down? What is your um let's see here. What is your potence? One dot, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could you could make the horizontal leap from the edge of the causeway you could uh, you could make it as far as the ladder on the side mm -hmm. if you don't miss. Oh, yeah. If you miss, you're gonna hit the side. You're oh, going yeah. in the drink, oh. but you can make it. Oh, but my clothes. Likely, they would be ruined if you miss the ladder. Huh? The fate worse than death. Mm-hmm. I really like this well, jacket. Well, well, no, there's an investment. There's an investment there. It's like we don't want to come out of this job down. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it seems to me like the the safest of these 
is probably to get a boat or some kind of, you know, a floaty, maybe a, a duck floaty and get over to the ladder aspect because walking straight up the thing thong, although there's no lookouts, are there? You don't see anybody standing guard here. Whoever these individuals are they aboard are the boat, they are completely obsessed with their search pattern. Yeah, here, not I think attention. that we might be able to just gangplank walk right it. on. Yeah, I think that we can actually gangplank it, but we have to do it now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way from here back to the group as fast as I can, and then ah! every time I see you, Wait, every but, time you do that, uh, but, and you reappear, bamf. Well, ah, uh, you can make yourself invisible. Oh, with they these. can too. Well, you can. No, you you have. No, I mean uh, like somebody plank. could be watching. You never know. The gangplank, but they could be well, concealed. Well, oh, yes. there are those among you That's who have the power have unseen to. Does anyone have unseen presence? I do. Un- or, sense the unseen. Sense the unseen. I can, Sorry, I can thank sense you. the unseen. Ah. But then let's have you do wow. a quick scan. And now that we come back, now let's have you do a quick scan. Yeah. And then we'll know if it's safe. Okay. Thank you. What yeah. do your elf eyes see? <laughs> Oh, my elf eyes, you say. What are you talking about? Uh, what are those? Uh, oh, here we go. So. Here, let me get all these successes out of here. So, since the unseen <laughs> wow. is, is free, I think you heavier. do not need to risk your hunger in order to do this. You Perfect. simply concentrate, you reach out with your senses, your eyes with preternatural power part the veil of illusion. Okay. If you're successful, you'll see anything that is concealed by supernatural means. So the role for you is um, your wits plus your score in auspex discipline. That's the total dice. So auspex. Remember that one of your dice is red because it is your hunger Cause die. Because you're, you're hungry. Yeah. Right. Hungry. Now, this is how many dice have you got in your hand? Five. Five. I am not going to tell you how many dice, how many successes that you need. Okay. Because that would help you. That you would know. That's a lot of strength. Yeah. 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 Great news. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, oh hey! What the oh. Hell? Check it out. Yeah. What's, the, what's the red man. one? The red it's one is also a success. A success. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. Damn. That is five. That's a hundred percent. You have five total dice in your pool, and That's you scored insane. a success I'm on gonna, each one of them. Good, good. Does that mean something? Divine. It means that uh, as she stares at the boat, scanning it with her eyes wide, trying to penetrate illusion, she sees a figure on the deck. Now, this figure is dark and indistinct. It's not really possible to make out their features because unseen, a sense the unseen shows you what is hidden, but it does not give you detail. Heightened mm-hmm. senses would do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but this figure is pacing back and forth on the length of the deck and occasionally looking out in your direction. Uh, now, if but I do just have, a glance. If I do have heightened senses as well. You want to focus? You want to give yourself binocular focus, vision? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. If you can imagine the camera zooming yeah. in. Enhance. Right? <laughs> Enhance. Getting the close up. No, it's too close. Too close. Too, back it out. Back it yeah. out. Right? You don't want to see the pores in their face. No, <laughs> right. Like, oh, yeah. God. Not like, you know, the Ugh. high def TVs. That's yeah, just too much. This guy much. needs to exfoliate. Too much. Yeah. That's too weird. It's too weird. Yeah, okay. Nice. It's like that Ren and Stimpy close up. Yeah. Oh, God. Just back it up a little. Well, I just, just roll all successes again, I guess. You don't need to roll, actually, okay. for heightened senses. Woo-hoo. It's automatic. It, in, and in fact, it enhances all your senses simultaneously. You can taste the brine of the ocean on your tongue at a supercharged level. You can probably Damn. smell what the daytime security guards had for lunch in your nose, wow. still wafting over the deck. Jeez. You smell the, uh, the, the area pitch, the tar, smells. the oil, um, the, the engine firings. very firing. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Come on now, dude! I snuck a little piece of nacho. (laughs) And you can hear what Jameson could not. Jameson, you remember, heard the murmur of a low voice. Yeah. You, on the other hand, above the sound of the lapping waves against the hull of the boat, can actually hear some individual words. Mm. And they're being spoken by the figure on deck. Okay. The figure on deck seems to be talking into his cell phone. But he's holding it not to his ear, but he's holding it in front of him. Yeah, for sure. So he's just he's talking into Is he it like this. A hundred years old. Mm. Uh, the figure uh, looks like um, it's uh, it's a male. The figure is pale, so it might be a vampire. Um, these powers won't tell you, um, but okay. um, just the fact that it's concealing itself 
not mean it's a vampire? Scry the soul. <laughs> Which I have. I'll tell you. Chances are really good that since it was <laughs> hidden from your sight, it is a vampire. But there uh, are other things that it could be. Could be. Yeah. I do uh, have Scry the soul, so. So pale, I... shaggy dark hair, hasn't had a haircut in a while. Okay. Mm. Um, so whenever they were, if they're a vampire, then, you know, it was not a great hair day for them when they got bit. <laughs> okay. Um, are they a vampire? You want to try it out and find out? Well, I have to try the soul, which okay. is also Let's under... Scry the shit you, will, you will have to risk hunger. You'll have to roll hunger. To rouse. Oh. rouse. Check to rouse the power well, of your okay. blood. Let me get more information and then All I'll right. make that decision. So, shaggy bad hair okay. cut, pale features. Huge fangs. <laughs> big. Vamp- uh, Hello, I'm a vampire <laughs> sticker. <Sure. laughs> I, it's all there. <laughs> Denim jacket, <laughs> stained, mm-hmm. yeah. greasy, dark, dark pants or jeans, uh, and they're talking to the phone. And what you hear them saying is, "So freaking bored! I'm so bored. You guys find it yet? How about now? Now? How about now? Did you find it yet? I am so bored. Come on, this sucks." He's bored, pacing back and forth on the deck right. of the ship. He clearly drew the short straw. You kids are so better well behaved by comparison. Yeah. I'm so thankful we don't have to put up with that type of behavior. Oh, absolutely. Now, uh, this means two things. One, it means that um, there's no one invisible on the aft of the ship. Right. You would have seen them. Right. So it's probably safer to take um, the gangway, a ladder, or a chain to that section of the ship. <laughs> the other thing that it means is that um, chances are good that if he's a vampire, so is everybody else on the ship. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> well, it seems like we might have a, a good a gangway play to the aft mm-hmm. for free. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And you want to? Did you want to try scry the soul? Yeah. Uh, what, else, what else would it give us? So that, that's that's us the risk for the hunger. Be a hundred percent sure if it's mm. a vampire. What it would tell you? It would tell you uh, for certain whether he's a vampire or some other type of supernatural creature. It would give you his current emotional state. Board. It would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> would you, I know, would you that, know one. that one came across. Yeah. Right. Um, it would tell you. Um, let's see. Uh, whether he is under the influence of any kind of blood sorcery or magic. Uh, it would tell you generally um, whether or not uh, he's got any cool blood resonance, any special powers in his blood. Right. And probably it might tell you if he's committed the terrible crime of diablery, which is eating the soul of another vampire. Vampire cannibalism. Those would be useful wow. to know, but maybe not required. Um, and it would definitely have a hunger. And mm, the risk is that you might get hungry. I might get hungry. I, I think you're safe without having to arouse anything. I, I think we know what we need to know about. Okay, now he's man. there. That's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, and that's important. Right yeah. yeah, I would say, I would say, that I'm pretty sure he's a vampire just by the look of him. Let's call it ninety percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. just move on. Yeah, just get on with it. Yeah. Yep. Tom, armed with a tire iron, a finely balanced uh, mechanical yep. weapon. Betty's got a few items. Mm-hmm. Jameson has his holdout pistol, of course. Indeed. His collapsible truncheon. True. Uh, blackjack, I should say. Indeed. Okay. Is there yes. a difference between <laughs> got some bear blackjack mace. and a truncheon? I got some bear I'm mace. Not sure, is there? Uh, a, truncheon can, yeah. a truncheon can describe a range mm. of head hitting. Uh, implements. I always think of it like what a, a, a police officer might carry. Yeah, so that's a baton. A baton, not a truncheon. I don't know. Okay. Aren't batons hollow? Isn't that why they're called I, that? I thought a baton had a second, like a sticky part coming out oh. at like 90 degrees. Oh, okay. What is that for? It's the baton holder. So you can grip it, spin so it I around, look real cool. Grab it from the bottom. Mm. Yeah, I bet you can hit people all kinds of ways yeah, with you, it. Well, you're right. You're right. More ways to hit people. One, one purpose. You can use it to block. This is Could. the key. The other purpose is to have it as to a shield. To block it on your forearm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's not hit. what you have, though. No. No, you've got a blackjack. Which Telescoping. Which is meant, meant for cracking skulls. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Got it. Okay. So, what is the will of the coterie? The coterie is, you're going to try to board the ship to the yeah. 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 Yep. To the rear. Are we carrying the box together? You have to get it up there. have yeah. to get it up there. Okay. Do you want to try to be quiet? You will have to make a, a, you'll have to make a roll for it if you do. Probably like reasonably quiet. I don't think we'd be marching up the gangway. I don't have any stealth. I, mean, I can try to be quiet, but yeah, I, I, I think I think you were relying primarily on the fact that there's no presence back right. here. Mm-hmm. This person, I'm not even sure how well he's looking at all this. Yeah, he's Doesn't bored. He's not doing his job. A lot of attention. He seems to be more focused on talking into his phone. And can we say that the... we're focused more on being fast 
instead of being quiet. Yes, secrecy. I have, I have fleetness. Yeah. Secrecy in really? speed. I do. Yeah, okay. I would say that's what we're doing. I think doing. I played football. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you probably did. Yeah. And that was where the athleticism comes from. Yeah. Um, you could be on board the ship in the blink of an eye if you chose then. That fast? Oh, but no, without, without the box. Though. Not with the but box. Here, but, box but, but here, slow you down. No, but I can, I can carry this box by myself. It's yeah. nice to have someone else. I can carry this box with uh, Unseen Passage. Yes, the box would also be concealed with you. I'm fine. You guys get up how you like. Okay. Let me get this box up for you. Let mm-hmm. me do this. Okay. 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 I'm going to fleet in there. Like a shot, yeah, You're up and over and on to the aft of the ship. Okay. And you don't see anybody on the rusted rear deck. You can see all these massive um, rings riveted to the back of the deck where cargo used to be moored down sure. and held when the ship was in operation. You, there's a big open hatchway that leads down into the bowels of the ship. And behind mm-hmm. you, okay. you can see the back of the, of the uh, control tower, the, the bridge, uh, but there aren't any lights playing around up there anymore. They've left the bridge and mm. probably descended into the ship now. Yeah. But there's nobody on the deck here with You me. see nobody. You are, you are alone, Tom. Ta-ka! Ta-ka! I, I'll leap up there. I'll like soaring leap up there. Sound, you, make, you can clear it in a single bound? Yep. That was good. That was a good bird. Go solar. Oh. I was trying to <laughs> <learn. laughs> I guess I'm just going to... Yeah, soaring leap uh, requires no rouse check. You yep. tense your, your your leg muscles and you leave the causeway and sail through the night sky. Do a superhero three point landing right on mm-hmm. the deck, mm-hmm. graceful as you please. You don't even you don't even nick any of your rings. Nice, very good, Super very nice, stylish. splendid. All right, so your coat billows so, a little bit. Ooh. Really, it's just it's just me. Just down to you. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm just going to um, take the easiest way up, I suppose. I have athletics, but it's for running. I don't know if that's actually going to be. You want to trot up the uh, the gangplank as quietly yeah. as you can. Yes, I love okay. it. Just regular running. <laughs> just, just a regular run. Like a person. Regular just a run, runner. Folks. <laughs> wow. Now um, I know how all the Flash's friends feel. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I do need to ask you for a rouse check to use unseen passaging. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Well, just you know, don't <laughs> making it dramatic. <laughs> don't inform the dice. I'm just, it's, a, it's just adding It's out there now. It's, it's in the a universe. Tone. It's in the universe. <gasps> See, wow. you needed it. You rose to the occasion. A little stress. <laughs> it feels good. It's and so it's just it feels great. Grab it. Grab it. Straight You're up. unseen and you go. <laughs> and you are just tripping the, the light or the dark, as the case may be. Fantastic. Right on up. Perfect. Um, you're not trying to use super speed or any other power. No, I'm just... Like, yeah, right everybody else like magically <laughs> leaps oh, off yeah. of this gangway. And then she's just... <laughs> <laughs> a nice dog. <laughs> Time warp. Right. I am Pacing going myself. to make a <laughs> roll in secret. I picture that very funny. Depending on what the result of the roll is, I will tell like, you. We didn't think to check if you had you. some way. We all just left. <laughs> we, we just watched you all Yeah. I don't... I'm just gonna run okay. it. Right, run up there. You had a, like a segue. You could just hoverboard. Hoverboard. Maybe you had like maybe you had those <laughs> tennis shoes that become roller skates. Yeah. Or something. Oh my god, one, <laughs> really? those one yeah. wheel things that people write. I don't. Know. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Oh no, we, I'm with like that. You put the two feet in the wheel and they blow up. Yeah, yeah they blow up. They do. Yeah. yeah. So don't read, don't you. use that. That's not what we don't, want. This is a stealth mission. Yeah. You're right. Kaka. Just time to roll. Okay. I'm so scared. So athletics, a strength and a... Th- uh, in- uh, let's make a dexterity in athletics. Dexterity in athletics. Yes, yeah. dexterity in athletics. Better. This is so delicious. You are, you are trying hurt. for speed and I'm lightness running, so. rather than brute strength here. Get it. Mega success. Yeah, okay. Nicely done. Fucking yeah. I want How are you doing this? I really have those dice. Yeah. Get this out. game, though, the last game I was rolling pretty terrible. God, you're eating it up. Okay, Yay. so this is, this is, is track star. Yes. Yeah, this oh, is, yeah. Your, your movements are, you know, practically, you know, world class athlete as you trip on up there. As I trip on up, I'm tripping on up. So um, we have there, there's a literal open hatchway hatch right in front of us that we can use to get down. Yeah, there are a number of there are a number of ways you could access the interior of the ship, um, and one of the one of the benefits of, um, of vampires allows us that cool three rolls and out. 
uh, yeah, system. Yeah, challenge typing. So uh, I'm going to describe the different ways of access. You'll let me know which one you choose, and then I'll tell you what three rolls you need to make mm -hmm. to start your initial search. Do those so, three rolls always escalate like they did last time? They don't always. Oh, okay. Sometimes they're the, sometimes they're the same. Okay. It's specific to the situation. Mm -hmm. Got it. Exactly. So there's the giant open hatchway, of course, that leads down somewhere into the dark bowels of the ship, probably a cargo hold of some kind. You can check that out and make a decision. There, are, uh, there is a doorway that uh, leads into the um, control tower, uh, several floors underneath the bridge at the, at the deck level. That gives access to at least to the tower section and maybe to the to the depths of the ship too, you're not sure. And there are more ladders that would let you climb up to the bridge if you wanted to. Hmm. If you explore the bow, there might be other ways to get in, but that other vampire may still be there. Him. Yeah, I, yeah. I kind of, my, my feeling on this is that we don't want to inter, we don't want to intersect with this other vampire in any way no. if, we, if we don't have to. Um, also, if they've been looking for this motherfucker as long as they have, he's not in the con tower. I just don't think so. No, I don't think he's up there. I'd be real surprised. Given yeah. my no like some of my knowledge of like being a bit of a bootlegger. Just a bit. And this is a really oh, old Where ship. you hide stuff? Would I know? Like, where do you hide stuff? Well, you definitely wouldn't hide it on the bridge. It's exposed right. to the sunlight during the day. The risk would be incredible. Yeah. Even if you were in an airtight container, it would be a terrible place. So either these, whoever these searches are are stupid, mm -hmm. or they know nothing about smuggling in boats, mm -hmm. or they're just being thorough. Who knows? Mm. But you know it's not up oh, there. It's probably it, not yeah. anywhere in the control it's tower. In the bowels. It's probably going to be somewhere in the superstructure. So boats like this, so the, the chain for the anchor has an internal storage. Like it's that kept inside the chain lock. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And that would be a very weird place to go if you didn't know about it and weren't thinking of it. That would be a weird place because mm. it's an internal structure. That's still enclosed. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of times ships like this had galleys. So if the person was hungry, they, might, they might be in the kitchen, they might be cooking something. Uh -huh. You think that um, the three best I feel like we should maybe work. look at both places. <laughs> the pause was so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, is that anything? Uh, <laughs> I just like definitely, definitely the anchor chain <laughs> containing containment room. Mm -hmm. is uh, a really cool place to hide because, as Jameson points out, it would be rarely accessed and who would, who would think to look there? Um, probably the engine room because it is, it is very, very easy to hide things there. There's a lot of nooks, crannies, compartments, um, locker space, and since the ship is decommissioned, the engines might not even work. I mean, they could be in a boiler for all you know. Mm -hmm. um, Wouldn't be on at all. The, in the, galley. the other good yeah. place, Cooler. this is a longer yeah, shot, is fridge. somewhere just in the main cargo hold. Now, that makes sense if there's a lot of cargo on board ship because, you know, one box among a thousand is pretty easy to hide. But if the cargo hold is kind of empty, it might be pretty obvious. I feel like the cargo hold would be the first place I would check. Okay. And obviously, just they've been ease. looking for this vampire yeah. for a long time. We know that if he was in the cargo hold, he would have been found by now. Yeah. yeah. So it's either going to be the anchor room, or physically inside the mechanism. The galley. Yeah. yeah, the engine. The, not the galley. Oh, the the the, the engine itself. The, mm -hmm. the mechanisms. The boiler. Agreed. Okay. So we'll hit the galley. We'll <laughs> find the engine room. The galley. Do you feel like there would be food still in there? As you say, this ship has been decommissioned for a while, so there's probably yeah. not any food in there. I just feel like everybody had an idea. We're checking everybody else's place. Yeah. Okay. We can add it to the list. Maybe, yeah. do you mind if we check it last? I mean, it might be the sort of thing where it's on the way to one of your guys' places. That's fair. Yeah. That's, if we know. see it, yeah. what is the harm in looking? No, no Beatrice, to Thomas's credit, mm -hmm. there are foodstuffs, certainly of a nautical make, mm -hmm. uh, whose uh, endurance is great. For lack of a better term, that's one of the common features of a naval food stuff. Yeah. So in order of access from where you are mm -hmm. on the aft deck, the galley, the cargo hold, and then the engine room would be... Makes sense. ...the order in which you would access them from where you are now. Yeah. If so you I were guess just we'll drop by the down. galley. It's on the way. We'll stop through. Okay. Um, quickly. I like everybody else's ideas too. I think they're all great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now let's check it out. Okay. Yeah, let's pop in. 
Well, I mean, he's not completely wrong, though. There's a lot of, like, cupboards and storage spaces in a galley. He could be hiding in the oven. Yeah, it'd be safe. Mm-hmm. You're not wrong, actually. He could. Yeah. You know, I, I, That's kind of the problem with this. He could really be anywhere. We're going to have to rely on you a lot, Amanda. Okay. Yeah, I can help with um, <laughs> detecting scenes. <laughs> the unseen. The, the, the census, but, but uh, as much as I might resent it, there may be something to this galley situation. Yeah. I don't resent it. I think it's a good idea. I'm glad we talked it out. Yeah. I just don't feel the same way about galleys ever since that movie with the dinosaurs and the... Oh, that's, mm, yeah. yeah. It gives me anxiety. There's a lot of clanking things. That Do we think there's about. dinosaurs on this boat? Well, no, but you know. So opportunity to... <laughs> yeah, I gotta get out of here. Let me make a note about <laughs> that. See ya. Yeah. I am out. <laughs> I mean, you, we just discovered there's vampires. So Vampire like, dinosaurs. You know, anything could be. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Consider it Why for not a future dinosaurs? project. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Very great movie, there. though. But I didn't even know they could do that with it the effects. It still holds up. Yeah. It still holds up. Mm-hmm. They, they were puppets. Yeah. They were puppets. Yeah, they were. That's crazy. Well, they were, yeah, they were puppets. That's they crazy. They moved their little arms up and down with sticks. When I was a kid, we didn't have puppets like that. No. I had raggedy <laughs> They were pretty convincing. You had a raggedy end. Uh, I'm sad right about that too. <laughs> <laughs> you stand behind uh, it and move it like this. You know, that was the first movie I ever went and saw alone. Which one? Raggedy Ann and Andy? No, <laughs> Jurassic Park. Oh, okay. That's what I thought too. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Like, wow, no, I would have been way too young too. to go to a movie alone. Yeah, yeah. Right, to see that. It's, that's, that's what I thought was so weird about. Like I was story. in elementary school when the Care Bears movie came out, and I had to go see that with my parents. But that was like ridiculously intense. That was hardcore really? shit. Oh my god, you've seen the last? Have you seen the last fucking unicorn? Yes, Peter S. Beagle's story translates pretty well to the screen, and it is heart wrenching. It is. Some rough stuff. Grumpy everybody. Bear was my favorite. Well, a different different movie than I'm talking about. But Amanda. Heightened senses. Yes, yes my heightened They're senses. They're free. Um, it is... For the taking. It is, it is very plausible, I think, that you uh, continue to use your heightened senses yes. um, from the time that you um, started, but until now. In other words, we'll say it's a part of the same scene, yeah. and so you are still using them to bring in information, sounds, smells, Yeah, every once in a while, I like, turn to um, Tom, I'm like, come on, do you have to, science. right now, yeah. like, do you have to... Fart, like just like give a little, me not, little bit of nacho. A room but it's to... just like so dark and cool, and then it's just staccato, like interrupted from time to time. <laughs> just rip. I'm trying, yeah, just ripping one. <laughs> God, come on, you, man! Uh, I'm trying to focus. What you hear are the sounds of movement from below deck. It's too indistinct oh, okay. to make out exactly what it is, but it's probably people or something that used to be people moving around. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you also hear movement from somewhere in the control tower superstructure ahead of you as you're making your way to the galley. Oh. There's somebody moving up. Yeah, so there, may be two separate, there may be two separate parties, or maybe there was one party in the con tower, and then they already had another group working below. Yeah, maybe this is like the out, yeah. Uh, okay, so, there is a, so there's someone in here, so is there a way to just avoid... That completely and still head downstairs. You want to try to avoid whoever's searching and also find the galley? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, let us appoint a champion of the role here. And the, uh, to give you the most possible benefit, the best chance of success, I'll tell you what the role is going to be. Yeah. The role is going to be, um, uh, it's going to make it intelligent. It can be either intelligence and awareness. Oh. Or wits and awareness, whichever is higher. So intelligence awareness for me is seven. That's seven dice. Seven four. It ain't bad. I can I get to five, so I can. Mm-hmm. That's, Mine's two. I think that's all you. So, yeah. I'm rolling, obviously. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously. So here we go. It's, it's your girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're the you're the champion. I I, I think in, unless Beatrice has got. Seven. No, I'm at like four. Okay, and four. I can Three do this rolls. type of roll. Yeah. Three rolls in succession. Each of these has the same difficulty. Uh, they are each at four. Ooh. It's tricky. And of, obviously, if I roll a bunch of successes, there. I can carry those over to a future roll. Wouldn't that be awesome? Not just this game, but any other any game. Any game. So how many That'd dice are you rolling? That seven. Didn't happen. We need four? four. This is rough. Four we got to co- we got to come up with something else. That's not bad. <laughs> Really? I think yeah, I feel like it is in fact bad, and I feel like this grin is basically all the information that <laughs> oh, you know what you mean. Oh no! Couldn't I use the shadows to like 
You can take Absolutely. Uh, well, um, you were born there. Let's see. The you shadow know, power would power grant you additional power. stealth. <laughs> what oh, you're trying four. to do is yeah. make your way to the galley quietly, but also avoid whatever, whoever is searching up ahead. So you're both hiding and trying to navigate in the realm well, of darkness. Well, we're in a naval vessel. Mm-hmm. Right? You're gonna, it's, a, it's a merchant vessel. It's a merchant vessel. Yeah. Um, Are the doors the type that seal? Yeah. Yeah. And with, a, with a wheel. Couldn't we see where they are and lock them into whatever room they're searching in and not have to worry about them for the rest uh, of this endeavor? Uh, but don't they have a phone they can in. call and yeah, but, say uh, that but they're How locked. good does it work from below yeah. decks in the metal ship? There's another scenario. And I also wonder, so this is my uh, uh, intelligence and awareness. That part's good, but I myself, am, I can't be seen when I pass at all. That's right. And I'm wondering if that... if acting as a sort of a forward scout if yeah. there isn't some aspect of that that I can use to be the optimal sort of tip huh. of the spear in this I think what you could do and context. I was also I was also adding the difficulty of wandering around with the box while yes. you're invisible if you were to leave the box here with the coterie and go on ahead I yeah. would think that your breaking and entering expertise in larceny would give you a hand here okay so let's let's get you into a room where we can seal up the doors, minimize sound, right? Mm-hmm. So, is this the type of game where splitting the party is a cool thing to do? Mm. You know, that would depend on the story and the storyteller. Okay. Sometimes it would be, and sometimes it isn't. Hmm. We're not going too far. We're just okay. going to try to trap these gonna, people. You're going to so leave these in a ward room near here them. somewhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking if I can just. Peek out real quick because we, first we need to find the galley, right? That's right. If I can just if I can figure out where we, all we need to go, then the excursion is as efficient maze wise as That's possible. That's true. If you can, mm-hmm. yeah. So I'll, I'll hold the box then. Yes, exactly. So, so you, you guys got the chill. box. You guys hang out in a in a ward room with a lockable door. Yes. You can lock it behind you. You chill, and then basically I'm going to move through. Like in my mind, there's some. You know, alphabet-based mnemonic that I'm using mm-hmm. to, like, construct um, pads. The optimal pattern. Yeah, exactly. All right, three rolls, but difficulty is only three. Okay, this is now. That's we're, better. We're, we're, yeah. we're moving in the right direction. You're not, you're not burdened by the box. You can rely on your your larceny background. Yeah. Uh, I know exactly how. And you're forewarned. Yeah. Do you think you do? Well, let's see what the, the dice agree with you. True enough. Whoa! Ah. All right, so that's one, yeah. two, three, four. Yep, so first roll, four successes, two more rolls, please. Right, so it's just like, because it, it's the thing where it's like you're stepping over those thresholds between the rooms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're going through those oval doors, yeah. stepping over the thresholds, climbing up and down a few stairways, gingerly, because mm-hmm. some of them are, you know, maybe half hanging on yeah. to the, uh, to the mm-hmm. bulkheads. Uh, the internal structure, I mean, how is it holding up in here? Or is it just it's falling this apart? Is pocked and. This is rusted from up. salt air corrosion, yeah. from seawater, from storms, from weather, uh, from people stealing metal and other yeah. bits off it. Oh, yeah. I mean, just years of, of marine air. Yeah. Drug deals going down in oh, here. Oh, you know about it. Teenagers climbing in to do who knows what. Trist. Mm. Trist. Oh damn, teenagers! Three, three, three successes three. again. Yeah. Oh, God. One more roll. Very hard to say. Yeah. It really, really took me a minute far. for that one. That was narrow. <laughs> narrow. <laughs> he still hasn't seen anyone else. He hasn't, but the noises are getting louder as yeah. you approach. Like I can, I can already smell these ancient snacks. Their flavor's only improved with age. The canned spinach. <laughs> oh God! The bottles. Of Fifty-year-old canned <laughs> yeah. World it's War II. <laughs> <laughs> War surplus ketchup. Yeah, exactly. A sea ration. Oh. Mayonnaise. Spam. Oh. Five. Yes. yes. Ooh, yes. Dang. Four. Dang. Three of best for last. Yeah. Five. So. Good job. Jameson, you do Good after a... Uh, nice, though. You only have one bad moment. The middle roll, three successes, yeah. where you had to backtrack a little bit and realize, oh, I missed a stairwell. There's a better way to do this. Yeah. Uh, so you do locate the galley after several minutes of searching. Marvelous. And the galley is where the other group is. Hmm. I knew That's it. what they're searching right now. You have almost walked right into them, but you got five successes on that last roll. You pull back in time. Now you're unseen. Exactly. You cannot I be am seen. I'm juicing this, this scenario mm-hmm. for as much as information. You, can. you 
you can't possibly know whether or not they have preternatural senses like Amanda does. It's quite true, but I feel good about my feel last round. Good about rounds. your odds. Like your odds. My last yeah. round are pretty. My last right. round is pretty good. Worst case scenario, I'll vanish right in front of them. There are uh, three figures in the galley. There is the uh, individual that Amanda described to you with the bad haircut and the denim oh, jacket. He, he is oh, descended. Mm -hmm. He is descended, yeah. He's okay. come off the like it. It's an unruly teen. Yeah. This guy is bad news. He's the one that's doing all the complaining, muttering under his breath. This sucks. I'm missing the game. Come on. I got money on this. Did you know Let's vampires go. crave human sport? Oh, yeah. And uh, accompanying this individual uh, is... Uh, a young woman or someone who looks like a young woman with um, a short uh, butter blonde bobbed haircut. Mm. Um, and she is wearing what looks to be like maybe like a, a jumpsuit or on closer examination it's possible that they are, are a BDUs uh, of some kind. Some oh, really? Sort of, some sort of utility outfit yeah, or uniform. For sure. And, uh, and Compared to dark us. work boots. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but professional. Mm -hmm. Professional, and she yeah. also moves like she's a pro. She's very efficient in her searching. She doesn't waste any time. She's very economical with her movements. Um, she ignores stuff where large objects could not possibly be hidden. Whereas the dude with the bad haircut and his compatriot, uh, who is uh, has a completely shaved head, not bald but shaved, That's fine. and uh, he's got uh, a beautiful tattoo on one side of it. It's a beautiful, intricate Celtic knotwork shape tattooed into the side of his shaved head. I appreciate it in silence. He's wearing a dark leather jacket and a pair of dirty jeans. And they're not careful at all and they're searching. They're looking under butter knives and they're yeah, opening exactly. every cupboard. Like, oh, wow, this sucks. And the get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> she knows better. She's ignoring anything that isn't big enough yeah, to hold she's something going for substantial. It's coolers. Like, you know, freezer right. crates, mm -hmm. cupboards that are large enough. Uh, she's ignoring everything else. And yeah, there, as, you, as she searches, as they pull open cupboards and doors, you do see ancient food cans and bottles, some of which has uh, shattered and leaked, you know, mm -hmm. terribly smelling, rotting food all over the place, which will become a problem for you if you yeah. approach too closely. <laughs> it will overwhelm your heightened senses. Yeah. Mm. Um, Super tasty. They finish, one of, the, one of them has a high-powered handheld flashlight, the other one is just using his cell phone. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. You can't turn around and say, oh, batteries love to that. Let's try to go home. So Pokemon Go. Take this and you, can, you can see every time he turns to where you can see the phone, yeah. even though he's got the sound off, he is watching the baseball game. Oh, boy. So he, he can't find anything. He, he's, he's not paying not attention. Do he's not I, paying attention do, at all. So, they're going to the finish here pretty quick, Yeah, though. I was going to say, so theoretically, I, I came here to discover where this was and saw them here. Is there any pickings left over from their search? Right mm. now, I'm drafting on their search. That's right. Do I think You're there's any them, pickings though. You think left? they're going to clear the room. If, if what you're looking for is here, they're going to find it. Okay. She especially will, it sounds like. Yeah, exactly. So what I'm saying is that, unfortunately, this part of the trip may... That uh, may be a bust. We, we, we may not want to come here at all. It's interesting that the pros thought to look there first. Oh, yeah, and, and that's to their credit, obviously. Yeah, yeah. 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 Amanda yeah. definitely doesn't want to go in there. All that smelly food. Meanwhile, back in the locked wardroom, oh. as you're waiting, mm. listening for Jameson's return, yeah. with your heightened senses, you hear something else. You hear footsteps approach the door and try the handle. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is not the agreed upon signal. Yeah. Right. Which is right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. As is traditional. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because crows on boats, yes. Someone heaves against the door, not even trying to be quiet. Yeah. But they can't open it. Yeah. Who the fuck? Someone's at, a, at the door. Uh, yeah, a few minutes later, the footsteps walk away. And you don't think they're walking in the direction that Jameson went. Okay. Oh, good. I was going to say. Yeah. Separate, separate party? A couple of minutes later, you return to the locked wardroom and give the signal. He has, to, he has to give it. Oh, you've got to give the signal. I say, um, I, I, uh, I clear my throat. <clears> throat> Kakra. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be two Kakra. Okay, next time. <laughs> Can, do we safely? Do we assume that you impart the information that you have witnessed to your computer? And we let him know too that <gasps> another party has come mm. down. Yeah, right. and I and I let everybody know that unfortunately, whatever snacks might have remained 
uh, are in a terrible state, uh, often cracked. I appreciate uh, you looking. Well, I describe a situation. I describe a sort of like dented, pricked can, mm -hmm. distended with disease. Maybe I don't threatening hold, to burst with trapped gas. I don't hold back uh, in my poetry. Uh -huh. okay. um, it's kind of a tragedy, really. It is. It's it, sad. At the end of the day, yeah. I mean, that's what it is. It moves the soul. Mm -hmm. And uh, but basically, it's like the galley is the galley is a no go. We need to get down a floor and um, start start afresh. And I say, but I did uh, at the at the end in the galley proper. And this is to your credit, Thomas. Mm -hmm. uh, the professionals sought that area first as well. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keen minds. But With your he wasn't senses, there. Yes. So if you step outside the wardroom and we listen may never while know. they're talking, <laughs> you can hear the sound of multiple pairs of feet descending what sounds like a metal ladder or stairway. Do we right. think it's just feet? Well, she thinks it's just yeah, it's feet. Just, She's the one who can like hear it. So if somebody, if I was searching for somebody and I found a locked door, I would be like, hey, I, I would go back and tell my buddies that I found a locked door. Yeah, yeah. we just, oh, by the way, someone came. Maybe in. it's in there. I said, we, we, we can no longer be here, friends. No, no. no. We, no we can't. We gotta go. Yep. Now we have not one, not two, but three different groups of people roving around yeah. in this ship. Right. That's a problem. We don't know that the guy that tried our door wasn't with the other people. Well, they're they're separate though. Well, they might. We oh, we split our party. She isn't even suggesting they're on different sides. No, I'm Merely just saying. Merely that there are multiple there's, groups. There's no, three individuals. moving around. Yeah, now we have like it's like Metal Gear Solid. Now we have I three see, right. guard groups we've got to avoid. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, we're on the tanker. Yeah, our and job so just got harder. The issue here is that we is that you know they're not trying to in some kind of um, farce. Uh, they're not trying to move a bed frame or something between the... Right, yeah. Yeah. They they don't have all a... these oval doors. Mm -hmm. But I can sense, you know, I can hear them pretty well. You can so hear them moving that. around. They're not really trying to be quiet, so right. they clearly they, don't expect it, to find anybody. In truth, the normal mode of their movement would keep them from finding us. So mm -hmm. we have that in our advantage. Okay. Yeah, unless you were really obvious, it's unlikely so, they're going to just tend to be. So it sounds like they're going to the engine room, right? Because that's on the level below. They're certainly descending. So yeah. maybe we should Let's skip bet. that level and then go to yes. the, the level. Yeah, what was it? They're the probably on their way to the cargo the hold. Locker? Okay, the cargo yeah. hold. Yeah. So yeah, maybe we should go to the engine down. room. Yeah, that yeah. would be the we deepest skip. level. Yeah. yeah, we skip it. Yeah. We skip the It's the most efficient way because exactly. if they find him in the cargo hold, right. we take him from them. Yes. Exactly. And if we find him in the engine room, we take and him from them. And we have them at a disadvantage because they'd be heading back up. Yes. I like it. This is flawless. Let's do it. This is professional. There may be a We should take the business. box They're with a us. good team. The box must yes. uh, be brought. Agreed. So, the box is coming it's with. It's got to be a part of the plan. Yes, unfortunately. So, you locate a stairway going it's down, and as quietly as you can, you okay, maneuver your way right downward, right tilting the box around the corners. Oh, oh, get it. It's like know. an operation. <laughs> yeah. Except with vampires. Yes. Vampire <laughs> operation. Another great product to consider. <sighs> the Operation Role Playing Game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Be right. Yeah, you could do it. So down and down you go to the bottom. Uh, you pause on a landing about halfway between the deck where you think the engine room probably is, and you can hear the voices here the loudest. And they're echoing in some large space, probably right. one of the cargo holds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a fairly big ship, so it's going to take them a while to yeah. search even an empty cargo hold for clues, especially with right. what little light that they have brought. So you think you, think you are going to get ahead of them. Okay. This is sweet. What light do we have? At the moment, you haven't had any so far. It's pretty dark below decks, though. So um, I would think that um, among Betty's uh, preparations, preparatory uh, tools, she would have flashlights mm -hmm. uh, or possibly emergency glow sticks like you use for a road emergency. Yeah. And your cell phones, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could also see her having like mag lights. Oh, the know, little they twist them the like oh, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a truncheon as well. Yeah. Sure you think about it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. That's right. <laughs> uh, what are the voices saying? Can I make it out? So that one complaining voice from the dude with the bad hair yeah. is the loudest, and he is complaining that he can't get signal down here. I can't even watch the game now. Oh my it's god! Freaking blows. What He's, is the score? The worst. He keeps. Uh, he keeps. Uh, 
he keeps complaining and uh, a lighter uh, but very serious feminine voice keeps telling him to shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. With the pop. <gasps> shut, shut up. Shut up. up. Uh, okay, so they're definitely here. It's going to take them a while, so we should keep Yeah, this is, our, our stairway just yep. continues just down, right? Spiraling you just continue down. on downward. Down, down you go. Okay, so uh, a few minutes of climbing down the stairs, maneuvering your box mm-hmm. around the tight corners. Expertly. Without a sound, mm-hmm. you arrive in the bowels of the ship. This is the, the space with the mighty engines that once pushed this vessel through the oceans of the world. That's right. Mm -hmm. During wartime service, uh, that meant that the engines, while not as powerful as those in ships today, are built really solidly. Yes. Mm -hmm. These things require massive cast iron boilers to get up enough steam to operate. The propeller shafts are huge. You know, there's big big rounds like like a tree and... You know, one screw for the whole for the whole schmear. Uh, they might have had double screws. One is an auxiliary, and of course, easier to turn with a rudder that way. Um, and this place is a maze. It is a, a cacophony of tangled walkways and little stairways that mm-hmm. go up and down, and machine parts that have fallen into ruin. Stuff that you can't mm-hmm. even begin to guess what the purpose of it once was. Some of it's really obvious, like the boilers and the propeller shafts, but the rest of it. Pfft, yeah. Who knows, gauges and levers and dials and yeah. knobs and wheels. And there are a lot of places really to hide cool. down here. No, it is definitely cool. Is there a layer of dust? So that's an interesting question. There is a layer of dust, but it's not, um, it's not light, dirty dust. It's rusted. It's like pieces Cor- of ah. metal corrosion that has fallen onto Flakes. the deck and floor. Yeah. So your, your shoes, Betty, <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh. And your, your coach tennis shoes, these things are goners. Yeah. Um, the Crocs probably going to be okay with a little dusting, a little yeah. wipe. Throw them right in the wash. Throw them in the wash. Yeah. yeah. You're going to yeah. go. The but red stuff's going to come right off. No. And so uh, obviously, it's uh, the dark color is the only thing that's saving me right now. Yeah. That's the only thing I have going for me. Now, <laughs> but a boat like this, um, we're not going to be privy to it. Like we wouldn't know it automatically. You might have some knowledge of it. Yeah. But these are designed for people to work in. And yes. as a result, there's going to be things like um, escape charts, yeah. escape plans, things like this, service, um, you know, uh, quick reference, like service things on a, on a mm-hmm. wall, safety materials. These are the sorts of things I think that are going to save us time down here. Yes, I agree. After about five or six minutes of looking, what you can find is the chief engineer's station. There it's we go. It's essentially a, it's almost like a desk or a podium. It's metal also and flaking into ruin, but it's raised above the level of the engine room. Perfect. So that whoever is standing at it can see quite a bit of the action around. Oh. This is where, this is where the chief engineer or the engineer of the watch would stand and let people know what to do. There is an ancient and rusted um, speaking tube device that if it was working would let you talk to any place on the ship. Um, there's a set of dials and gauges that lets the engine room communicate with the bridge way at the top of the structure by pulling a lever to indicate a message on a dial. Full ahead, half, left rudder, right rudder. Uh, there are um, a lot of falling to ruin, falling to pieces, um, bound notebooks and journals, but there are also plastic laminated sheets <laughs> of emergency <laughs> procedures. <laughs> How to shut down the engine fast. What to do if a boiler explodes? What is the fire escape route? Um, where does the crew go You know, in mm-hmm. an emergency? What happens if a torpedo hits? That sort of thing. Looking at some of these diagrams, can we discern which of the metal structures would be large enough to potentially house a human? Probably. It might take a few minutes to decipher it, but you could probably narrow it down considerably and save help. yourselves a lot of time. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's do it. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah. start. Get it down to our, like, flipping uh, through it. Short list. Yes, like let's check these five places first. If it comes up with nothing, then we'll revisit the chalkboard. Yeah, because okay. uh, this room just has so much stuff. Yes. In it. Yeah. <laughs> you could lurk all night here and not get through the whole engine room before right, the sun right, comes up. Right. You think mm-hmm. it's too big? There's yeah. too much. We we have to find a place to sleep ourselves in mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Heightened senses will help, of course, right. as you search, as you narrow it down, and maybe maybe sense the unseen if there if there's anything concealed magically or invisibly. Right. Okay. Okay. So. Um, 
Betty, are you are you are you leading the? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Two rolls. Slip through it. Mm-hmm. Two rolls. Uh, intelligence and investigation. Somebody can make that roll. Uh, can be the same person who makes both. But also, if anybody has any um, uh, science or technology, an intelligence and a science roll or an intelligence and technology will help you. I have a tech. Okay. Oh. I got Does none it, of these. Okay. Do you have investigation? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Okay. Here. I have intelligence and science. Oh, She's okay. got int and science mm-hmm. at four dice. I have int and investigation at six dice. At six dice. Okay, so we'll have you do the investigation roll. Mm-hmm. I'll hold the box. Yeah. You got the box? Yep. Just, yeah. just seal it. There's a person in there. It'll be fine. It's disrespectful. <laughs> it's rude. Um, all right, so I'm going to try to hit this first thing. So um, here we go. What are we looking for success wise? Uh, you need four successes. Ah! Mm hmm. Yeah, it's challenging. It's a lot of well, it's, it's a, a lot of paperwork, yeah, yeah. and you're in a foreign people, environment. No, they've been looking for it for a long time. I mean, yeah. honestly, they they did not get the successes when they rolled. Yeah, right. This is Trouble Town, USA. And yeah. as far as you know, the other search party hasn't gotten down here no, yet either. No, to look. no, no, no. And that's that's why looking in the five places ahead of time is good because we could always just leave. And then head up, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Worst case scenario, we check our our key spots, yeah, and then we just trade with them. Yep. Right. Yep. All right. Shit. Four. Fuck. All right. You've been rolling good though. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but this the ratio is what I don't. Yeah. Like. Now you won't. This is gonna suck. This is gonna be the bone zone. This is a shit show. Yeah. I can tell already. You should just quit now. Get up and leave. <laughs> Let's go. Go home. <laughs> go home. Forget it. <laughs> go on. Get. Oh, hey. what? Are they all successful? Yes. They are. That's incredible. That's insane. Why are you like that this? Is the, that's the craziest like thing I've ever that's seen. That's a total of six? Yeah, exactly. So it's like, yeah, exactly. So I, I get yeah. the I get the the sheet. I'm looking over the sheet. Mm-hmm. And then I like reach over to where like in another age, the foreman like left his like <laughs> safety hat. Mm-hmm. And I just... Put it on. <laughs> just like the lab coat, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like For inspiration, you just, you just trappings. Yeah. I just put it on. It's in my mind, I'm like, maybe this will help. And I think it might have helped. I think it might have helped. Yeah. Six successes. Yeah. All right. Uh, before we tell you what happens, go ahead and make the second roll to accompany it. Uh, Which is my roll, right? The, that's your roll. The science one? That's the science yep, one. Yep, four dice. Healthy. Don't get hungry. Well, wow. I'm gonna get hungry is the thing. No, you won't. No, oh. you, you have a success. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can so, but it's try. only one success. Yeah. Right. So, unfortunately, you don't really know what you're looking at. Yeah. It's, it's confusing I mean, and outside your biology. Yeah, yeah. It's, the technology is too old. Bio major, I mean. Fortunately, bio major, I mean, for the, the inspirational spirit of the safety helmet seems yeah. to have compensated <laughs> for the lack of familiar yeah. technology. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's as though the engineer is standing at your side and speaking to you. Guiding and your And then hands. there was the time when the torpedoes yeah. passed by the bow yeah. and I, I can stopped feel the ship on a dock. Um, yeah, I like to think that like I just kind of like this ship could on be rant. haunted. We don't know. It could be. <laughs> so, I, six Bare successes. minimum, it's haunted by fucking vampires. That's right. true. Yeah. <laughs> you narrow it down. There are only three logical places for you to look. Wow. Perfect. All okay. right. Uh, one is, are the, one is the forward storage locker compartment where all the massive uh, tools were kept. The, mm-hmm. the huge yeah, wrenches and massive spanners. It's one of the few places big enough to hold something like that. Um, one is the emergency fire station. Which had hoses and axes and oh, firefighting equipment, that stuff pumps. Mm-hmm. That's large enough. And then there is the boilers themselves. Yeah, the exactly. massive bell-shaped uh, metal cylinders, oh. which were once filled with water. They could easily hide many oh, times over what oh, you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, an apartment it would be a, a, an embarrassment of space. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so time for roll two. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you skip it. Six successes oh, is it's tremendous. Dang. Oh, it was a beast. Yeah, yeah. I just never really yeah. Sure. You've never you've eliminated. There were, you could have wasted time with three or four more locations. Yeah, yeah. But something inexplicable. Yeah, exactly. Spectral. Almost spectral yeah, tells exactly. you it's in one of those three locations for okay. sure. Okay. Right. Which one should we do first? All right. Add it. I like fire. Locker. I like the fire. I. The, yeah. It's too funny. Yeah. The idea that that you would like put yourself to rest in. The emergency place. It's too <laughs> cheeky. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, I like You're it. You're right. There's an irony there. Yes, it's too cheeky. All right. And so, yeah, we, I, I uh, just lift this, uh, the plastic sheet up off of the hook 
uh, and just bring it, just mm-hmm. step down and bring it with you. Just bring it with you. Yeah. Um, bound the, on its hat, rusting iron. It has not ring. left. <laughs> you're gonna it has it, remained. You're going to keep it on there. I am. Yeah. It's got the name of the of the ship, you know, SS Comet yes, on the very side. Nice. Very cool yes. little emblem. Every part of this is great. Mm-hmm. All right. So I like that hat on you. It's very fetching. Well, well you know, listen. And it's, it's really dusty and gross. So it's like suits <laughs> yeah. you kind of, you know? Exactly. It suits your dusty, gross face. Yeah. My, it's what Amanda's saying. That's I'll use I'll saying. use my thumb. It suits you, but yeah. she says it not. <laughs> it's like it's sort of like the way you are. <laughs> it's but, perfect. No, no. I'll, I'll lick my thumb and then just polish the part of the hat that says SS Comet. I love that. Just wipe away the yeah. 50 years worth exactly. of grime. Uh, and <laughs> let, let the name of the ship shine through exactly. once more, once, one more time. Exactly. That. And so we uh, are through this maze in an instant. You, 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 to the, you thread the it like a rat who knows where to get the cheese. That's right. Professional level Definitely. cheese. Definitely. It is at this point that two things happen. Yes. One, a voice calls out, don't Move. And the other thing that happens is that we're going to take a break. You cruel monster! <gasps> we're you are a monster. Our vampire yes. story. You are yourself a vampire <laughs> story. <laughs> it has been remarked, sir. You are the monster. <sighs> Welcome back to Seattle by Night, our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle. When we left our coterie, they were searching a rusted out engine room aboard a derelict freighter tied up at the dock in the port of Tacoma Waterway. They were just about to search the place where they believe the torpid vampire may be hidden when a voice rang out in the darkness and said, don't move. And despite your heightened senses, you did not hear anybody approach. Which is why I actually scream. I go, ah! (laughs) There was an exclamation of surprise. (laughs) So, um, who's got the box? Uh, Tom's, got the box? Tom's, Tom's holding, the, holding the box. Tom's holding the box. Yeah. Betty's got the mag light. Mm-hmm. Jameson has the helmet. And the sheet. And the sheet of, of uh, instructions and maps. And Amanda. Eek. 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 Uh, yeah. She has fear. And uh, bear mace, which I don't know if I could react, do a reaction. So if anyone has um, rapid uh, reflexes. I do. As celerity, you are never surprised. So despite the fact that this, whoever it is, has crept up on you, you will be able to respond first. Okay. Whatever you want to do at this moment, you can do. Now, you don't know who it is. Yeah, what's going on? Is the voice from... Behind me, like, it, I don't know. It's from deeper ahead in, in the darkness. But I can't see anything. You look around in the, from the, in the direction of where, um, of where the voice was coming from, still holding the box, at, just at the very edge of Betty's mag light, of the circle of illumination that it casts uh, against the wall of the engine room, it you can see... him or her. Like, it could be the person we're looking for, No, too. the person we're looking for is Torpid. Uh, is it, maybe it's like I guess that's a true fact yeah. that I didn't pay attention to. Yeah. Cool. I, maybe. <laughs> I couldn't be more. Listen, the idea that you would. I know. That's why I did it. me on a rule. That's why I, I did it. I'm gonna sleep well. Uh, so what you see is the dark figure at the very edge of your vision. This individual is um, male and pale, so possibly a vampire. That's what we say. Male Not and pale. sure. Not sure. So. Um, they have uh, fine blonde hair cut short, a very professional cut, like you'd expect to see on maybe. Uh, an attorney or a doctor or somebody in somebody in a profession. Um, they are wearing uh, a suit, actually. It's a very modern suit, cut, well, probably tailored, it looks so nice. Hmm. It's a dark color with some pin stripes. And, um, Does he have a new lapel pen? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Announcing exactly what his affiliation might be. be so well, you know, those Ventru are so cocky about it all. Yeah. I'm just saying. He doesn't wear a necktie, though. He just wears a dress shirt with an open collar, That's and cool. his beautiful Italian leather shoes are now ruined with the rust that has destroyed your footwear. Solidarity. As well. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't hold any weapons, though, so how he thinks he's going to stop you, not sure. Mm. Okay. Um, so I have a Throw second. A box at him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so he says, "Don't move." You've turned around and moved and, yeah. and looked at him, but you can do whatever you want. Or what? <laughs> Man, there's, there's got to be another part to that. You, you appear to have have caught him by surprise. Maybe he didn't plan for that part of the equation. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I mean, I got to know what's at stake here. 
You are fairly good at reading people, I do believe. Uh, I seem to recall on your sheet. What's that under? That is. Let's have a look. Streetwise? Is it insight? Craft. Inside, I'm only a two. It's only not a craft. Two. It's definitely Could not, be craft. I, not I got four craft. in that. See, I seem to recall something on your sheet here. Um, ah, this is what I was looking for. It wasn't reading people at all. Um, as you stare at him and you look really closely, watching his face for a reaction to your challenge, mm-hmm. you notice that he has got a tattoo that you can see visible above his shirt collar and it snakes all the way up his chin and touches his ears on either side. It's beautiful. It's intricate. It is extraordinary work. This is not as good as you can do, Mm -hmm. but it's close. It's close to as good as you can do. It is, it is very distinctive. You don't know what it means. Maybe if you saw the whole tattoo, sure. it yeah, would could, mean something to you. Could he recognize where it was done? Because he is within well, You might have seen tattoo. it on the gram. Mm-hmm. I mean, if, like it was, the artist? if it got posted anywhere. Let's make a roll. I'm a part of that community. Let's yeah. make uh, wits and um, I'm gonna make it the, I'm gonna make it performance because that's what your tattoo specialty is. You can either make it performance or you can make it insight. Uh, let's do performance. Performance is yeah. better for you. Three because, and three for wits. So uh, that's three, six. three, six, but add one for your specialty in tattoos. Oh, okay. And you're not hungry, so. Yeah, it's all black dice. Mm, one, two, three, wow. four, five. Damn. Damn, good job, everyone. Whoa. I know this ink. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right away, you've seen it on Insta. Yeah. You do know this ink. Paul made it. This is Paul's work. Who's Paul? Hmm. For hmm. Sure. For sure. <laughs> I like this Interesting. You've woven something from my own backstory into the sort of meta narrative. Mm. <laughs> these things happen, I hear. Yeah. I hear these things. <laughs> these are things I hear. I am shocked. I don't recognize him, though. He's not familiar to you, but the work is very distinctive. You would know it anywhere. A- am I correct in saying that? This work must have been done, assuming he's a vampire, this work must have been done prior to his embrace. That's, yeah. uh, that is your understanding of how right? this, this twisted existence <coughs> works. Oh. God, unless there's another way. Uh, so he hasn't responded to your challenge yet. Uh, he looks a bit surprised. Yeah. Uh, and it's clear that he hasn't planned out this part of his conversation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you've had a chance to react. Yeah. Now, Everybody goes at once. There is no initiative in Vampire Why? the Masquerade. All actions are simultaneous. And I'm going to start f- with huh. Amanda and ask you, not what you do, but what's your intent? Are you going to wait for something to happen, or are you going to choose to act? Uh, I don't think that she would actually... Well, noticing that his demeanor and stuff like that, she doesn't feel threatened, I would imagine. that He just seems kind of like... I mean, if she, I guess if he's like... He doesn't have a weapon is what I'm saying. Like, he certainly not, doesn't like, have a gun. He doesn't have a visible see. weapon. He might have, if he's yeah. a vampire, he might have powers like you do. But no, he doesn't appear to be making any threatening motions. Okay. His big plan seemed to have been to tell you not to move. Okay. Uh, I think that I, I think that Amanda would uh, just sort of l- watch out the situation and see how it unfolds. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to remind you that you still have heightened senses active. Yes. Mm. And you can Ooh. hear faintly on in the... Uh, in the deck, the cargo deck above you, the sound of no more voices, but echoing footsteps moving around up there as they search. Okay. So they're still here. Okay. Was Scry Soul something that she did on that individual, or is Scry Soul something where she's just scrying souls now? She needs a target. So if yeah, she chooses to switch to Scry the Soul, she certainly can do so. Do yeah. You want to give that a try? I do want to give deal. that a try. I actually really do. So. See where his deal is here? So. So uh, Scry the Soul requires a rouse check, so first thing you do is grab a hunger die and see if you get hungrier. A lot. Dude, this is what it sounds like when doves scry. <laughs> when doves <You> scry? <laughs> <laughs> you devil. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, good night. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how many experience points is legal to dox. Yeah, oh, well, maybe have you to. should I give. Understand. Maybe you should give more experience points. For <laughs> he knew the risks. You know what? <laughs> so uh, your beast stays in check. You master yourself. Yes. Your dad would be proud. You got this. You got this. You're all over it. Perfect. So um, this we'll is scry the soul. Mm-hmm. I'd like you to make uh, a roll of your intelligence. 
So, okay, so two. Is it two. two? And add the three. dice for your aspects. Hit them. And then a hunger die in there? Or yeah. Not? One of those, yeah, one of those one guys hungry, should yeah, be hungry. Always guy. hunger. Always hunger. Always hunger. Always hunger. You so, are fucking murdering. Oh, three. Shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have three. You have also three? Uh, I think, well, one of them is a... Uh, sparkly. Sparkly one? Oh, one Does of them is count? a sparkly. Um, only in Paris. Yeah. The crits only oh, count oh, in Paris. Oh, okay. So you've got three and he's got three. Ty goes to the active vampire. So you will pierce the skies of his whatever he's using to conceal. I'm using my peepers. And I'm going to give you three questions that you can ask. What? And the That's questions enough. are, what is he? What's his emotional state? Doesn't he have any magic on him? Is he a cannibal? And what's the resonance of his blood? How powerful is his blood? That's okay. five questions. Has he smoked in the last three, three days? Yeah. Yeah. What did he have for breakfast? What did he have for breakfast? You can't ask that. Does he have ideas? <laughs> <laughs> you might. You can't. You uh, that too. That'd be horrible. That would be horrible. Uh, I definitely want to ask. Like I definitely want to ask what his mood is. Like I feel like that's important to the situation. That seems good. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes. I want to ask that, and then I want to ask. Um, what was the last question? I'm sorry. Um, let's see. So the resonance. questions are the resonance, the relative strength of uh, the power of his blood, I his emotional that. state, and what kind of creature is he is a possible question, and whether or not he has any magic active oh. on him. Is, so know. resonance is the power of the blood? Resonance, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's potency, basically, right? blood it's, basically the, um, it's not quite the same as blood potency. Really? It's basically the, um, the emotional charge in the blood that he's been consuming. It's something that I suspect that most of you have only danced around and haven't come to grips with completely yet. I don't do drugs. <sighs> and that's like the kindred equivalent of it. In a way, in a way of speaking. So, so like, you you take on the attributes of the some, person? Yeah, Tom doesn't know this. Rush out of it. Tom doesn't know this yet. So, no one's taught him, but yeah. Yeah. some blood uh, has such it's intense emotion yeah. that it can actually convey that emotional state into the vampire when they drink. And sometimes it's so powerful it can grant you benefits. <laughs> so if you drink Health the blood <laughs> of someone who is perhaps incredibly, outrageously angry mm -hmm. and frustrated, you might get a temporary boost to your potence or your strength. Huh. By the power of that emotional resonance. Or okay. if you go full interview with the vampire and you like kind of seduce them or whatever. Yes, oh, there okay. are other, there are effects that you, you can, can gain that, that way too. Uh, it's, blood. Um, it's by no means foolproof, nor is it predictable. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that is one of the possible food. questions. So one of the things you can find out is who's this guy eating? Yeah, exactly. Okay. What's he on? What's he on? Mm -hmm. What's this guy on? Yeah, I do. I think I do want to find out the power of. His blood, blood. Mm -hmm. and then I also wanted to find out um, emotional state. The yeah, the emotional state, and then I wanted to find out how. Um, let's see, there was the power. Sorry, emotional state, and then there was a. Does he have a magic item? Do you want to know what he Not is? The magic item. Oh, what, what he is? is. That's the one yeah. that I wanted to know. It could be it's probably Das Vampire. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Let's take care of the easy one first. So, um, your eyes. Um, again, get huge. Your pupils dilate as they take in the supernatural world. Mm -hmm. This is completely inhuman stuff. This is pure supernatural. You see a very pale, shimmering aura around him. It tells you that he is, in fact, a kindred a vampire, for sure. You've seen that before. Definitely one of the fan club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, his emotional state, he is very nervous. Not to the point of being scared or fearful, but he is he is not confident in the situation right. at all. He's okay. anxious, very anxious. He's trying to hide it, but you can see right through it. Right. And then finally, you wanted to know what the blood resonance was. That yes. Who has he been drinking? Um, he has been consuming what vampires would call um, phleg the phlegmatic humor of blood. And the phlegmatic humor um, often conveys um, powers of concealment. Mm. That makes sense. So uh. if he has been consuming enough of that type of blood or blood that is particularly rich in the phlegmatic emotions, then he, says he, he, might, be, he might be buffed. 
He might, yeah. he might have a buff. He's a sneaky pants. Okay. Hmm. Are we sure phlegmatic is a word? Not 100%. Mm. Okay. I'll, I'll like my odds. Okay. I bet it is. It sounds like Jameson. Word. That's not should yeah. be. Yeah, yeah it's cool. I, I, it's all well and good that he wants us to stop. I he immediately disappear. You vanish. Yeah. And I just continue, like, I, I'm, I'm, it's like, this is like something I would have to brush off my shoulder, basically. Mm. It's, he, he wants this to happen. There's enough other variables that can confuse him or stymie him or deal with him in some way. My whole goal is to achieve what we came down here to do before these people upstairs come down. Because I don't get the sense that he's with them. He's he doesn't seem like to be this. affiliated. You know what I mean? Uh, this is another yeah. group. I assume you described what they looked like to us, right? Yeah. This yeah. is this is another group, right? And I, I, that's my theory, anyway. Okay. Make a rouse check for the power. See if you get hungrier. Hot-blooded! Kitty! <laughs> Right. Nice I've amazing. Got a, I've got a fever amazing. of 103. Yeah, not only that, but your beast is, is like dormant tonight. Yeah, I know. You are under control. Time for the beast. This is this is your element. Master of your Incredible. domain. Incredible. <laughs> I'm so close to my goals. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so you vanish from from sight instantly. Bamf. Yeah, and it's you just peace like, out. Walk right around. Like, yeah. I got stuff to do. Carry on. Yep. You're gonna keep searching. Yeah. Yeah. Betty. Um, you see Betty almost like lean a little bit back, like into the shadow, and then she just doesn't lean forward again. <laughs> like he just sort of vanishes into that darkness. No, yeah, that is her second home. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> into the bush. Yeah, right. You see, like a very like almost, almost like. Almost and like then a... you're waiting for it to like come back, and then it just doesn't happen. There's just nothing there. Cool. Mm. Me and Tom look at each other. We're like, you see uh... him visibly start mm-hmm. when you do that. Mm-hmm. And uh, you went first, of course, uh-huh. by, by questioning him and challenging him. Uh, simu- this all is happening yeah. simultaneously. You are using uh, Scry the Soul. You have vanished and are continuing the search. You have become Shadow itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, meanwhile, the visitor with the interesting tattoo made by someone with whom you are intimately familiar um, decides that his plan really leaves a lot to be desired. And uh, he takes a second step backwards raises his hands slightly so you can see that he is holding no weapon and nothing. And he says, look, I don't know who the hell you are, and I don't really care. I'm just here to get something. Maybe you are too. That's fine. We can sort it out later. I just don't want them to get it. He indicates the direction of the cargo hold. Well, you're going to be able to completely pierce this young man's entire persona. Once you start digging up known facts, um, I, I think that will stun him. Cold. Yeah, I mean, it's not fine if we're after the same thing. <clears throat> My name is Anthony, and I'm looking for a kindred that I think is in torpor here. Yeah, we're looking for the same thing, so this isn't going to work. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Sure is. He's looking around and counting you now. He can only see two of you. (laughs) Yeah. And so he is now visibly nervous. What can I do to make this work? Help me with this box. Okay. And just be cool. He does some quick mental calculation and decides that he is the one on the downside of the bargain here, apparently. Shrugs. Looks like he has just lost all of his resolve. This is he a steps key. forward and offers to help you with the box. Yeah. Smart. Mm-hmm. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jameson, you're searching. Meanwhile, yeah. um, you, uh, Approaching if memory the, serves, you have come to the, uh, the safety and fire uh, exactly fighting Exactly right. My theory is section. that the prior occupants of this, um, of this box mm-hmm. uh, hoses axes, things like that. I think these have been discarded, and it is now essentially a kind of sarcophagus. You are 100% correct. So It's a very you, Indiana Jones as you moment. Open the bulkhead doors of this. It's like a, sort of like opening the doors to a storm cellar. Yeah. Now, big, interacting uh, with the world, I believe, with Unseen Passage, it will make you visible, right? 
Uh, don't you? I think that you you, you know that better than I would. But we discussed this yesterday. Yeah. Oh, is it, does it just look like the doors are opening, or do we actually do you yeah. see? Uh, I I am prepared to handle that. Okay, so you do become you do become later. visible. Yeah. Uh, as the door, he's opened the bulkhead doors uh, and thrown open um, this vast. Uh, storage space where there used to be fire fanning equipment, hoses, uh, water pumps, uh, axes, and uh, other other tools and machinery for fighting. Because it was the fire fighting station, it is lined with a thick layer of asbestos. Oh, you bet it is. Which is a wonderfully protective place for a vampire to be. Oh, it's the so, optimal scenario. You, right? you would build it this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, It looks like it's empty. It looks like it's completely empty. So you are, I suspect, going to search the interior. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Anthony has uh, stepped forward to help you with the box mm -hmm. and maneuver it wherever it is that you want to get to. Yeah. So, um, should we bring it to the uh, opening of this door, set it down, um, and I just look at him and go, just be cool. <sighs> As you set it down, like I exit the shadows. He does a double take and, and, and with looks the coil at you. of like rope that I had mm -hmm. around my shoulder, I tie him up. You're gonna step forward and try to tie him. Yeah, like very rapidly. No, I I put a hand on your shoulder. I'm okay. like, he's gonna be cool. Are you gonna allow yourself to be stopped in your intention and I talk to Tom they, about it, or we just talked do you about how carry they on? sent somebody to kill us? <laughs> no, I asked this guy if he was gonna be cool, and he said yes. You're gonna be cool, right? I, I, be cool, be cool, be cool. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know who you who you are. I don't even know who you're working for. Who sent you here? And I'm just working. Like this is happening. I'm just down here <laughs> looking around. Yeah. yeah. I'm representing my family. Who's your family? Diaz. You said your name's Thomas. No. Camarco. Is that was that the name? No, I don't work for any of the Comet? crime families in Tacoma. No, it's not Prince Comet. Cross. Well then, a kindred family. Yes. Okay, so then why not say that first? Maybe. You know damn well who we are. Why skip around the, 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 why the charade? Well, I know who you are, and you, I don't know who your associates are. I Were you Daddy, sent here? Daddy, he's dancing around the garden by path. The ivory, by the ivory tower? He spits on the floor. Or he would spit if he had liquid in his yeah, dry, yeah. it's a dry, dry fire. noise. <laughs> no. Clan Giovanni does not truck with the ivory tower. This is interesting. 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 <laughs> I, and I, that, as, I, as he says yeah. this, the rope suddenly no. goes away. And I, you know, it's heavy. So I like plop it on the ground and I'm like. We don't have time to get into this now. We don't, but I find this very interesting. <laughs> hmm. Nice Me too. Nice shoes. Thank you. They were nicer before we walked in here. You gave me a scare. Because, oh. Minor, we're not gonna, minor ruin, too. We're not going to get into that. Oh. Because after what you said earlier today, when this dude showed up. Oh, you thought he was. No, I can see why. I can make sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I'm still, like, <sighs> actively digging through. I'm thinking about. Oh, this fine. Mm -hmm. This freaking. Are you visible You're now? here for the Camarilla? The Camarilla said you? You? It's a long story. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. weird. Take it easy. Young man. But Anthony. Oh. Anthony Giovanni, is that correct? Anthony. Okay. Well, I, I heard a bunch of names and it all sounded like... Is he in there? Did you find him? I don't know. I, uh, I'm my, my fascination with this is that there's going to be uh, a false bottom, a false wall, mm -hmm. so, some way that I can get in here part, get to the next thing. This is like the fail safe out here. Yeah. Right? But, but I'm asking him, and, 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 like... Uh, so what do you need him for? Because as my friend has suggested, it may not be cool. He uh, is clearly hesitant to talk about it, but he also clearly sees the time is of the essence and is running out rapidly. Yeah. He shrugs resignedly. Mr. Gravenstein owes my family several rather large unpaid favors. We have been searching for him for quite some time. We were able to learn through sources that the Camarilla had located 
his resting place and had sent a team to remove him, so we simply followed you. I say, does the Camarilla have a vested interest in him not repaying these debts to you? That's above my pay grade. I don't know. You're talking about plans that are decades old, maybe older. You heard there were multiple teams coming to get this guy and you came alone? No, I just heard there was a Camarilla team. I didn't know about whatever those... Still, lit. you heard a team was coming and you're like, I got this. I say, I, I, I poke my head out and I say, Thomas, it's, it maybe there's something we don't know about this young man. I'm not at liberty to discuss my family's business arrangements. You understand. Yeah. Do you know him? I don't know him. Do you have any ink that's visible on you? Uh, your oh, yeah. Arms, his, your, your he's just wearing a tattoo. Though, right? uh, he's, he's wearing uh, oh, a jersey. Shirts. He's wearing a jersey. Oh, so he's got sleeves. arms. Oh, yeah, big he's got arm sleeves all the way down. Okay. Tattoos. Do you Tattoos, have any so your Do you have any work for Yeah, I would, have, I would have the same piece. I would have something from Paul, probably on the arm. Now whole, that he sees piece. you up close, he's admiring the, your ink. He doesn't yeah. seem to recognize the workmanship, but he, he, his expression indicates that he appreciates the beauty of it. Yeah. It's the same guy that did your neck piece. Hurt Locker. Yeah. That's him. He really? does good work. Yes, it's excellent. My family has been going to his establishment ever since it came into existence. Not very long, of course. And just the local family. We're um, <clears throat> international. But look, we're, we're, <laughs> uh, is, he, is he in there? We're wasting time. <clears throat> I say, well, if... Is he very small? We've never seen him before. Is he perhaps no more than a couple inches long? Because I can't find anything. If something there. were being concealed magically in there, would it? Would you still bump into the invisible thing if you were searching around in there? Yeah, can I use Depends my? Depends on what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I use my sense the unseen to kind of gander, like look in these four spots that we're supposed to be looking. Absolutely, at. you can certainly investigate the um, the storage area that Jameson has just opened and cleared. Um, you're gonna give it a, a, a once, once over, over with Sense the Unseen? Yep. Okay, no rouse check required. Okay. So you don't have to call upon the power of your blood, but you do need to make a roll. Wits and Auspects, and I will also roll. Hey, he might just not be here. And you're, trying to, get, you're trying to get more exactly. successes, as many or more successes like as I get. Was, at least for a point in time. Sure, yeah. yeah. Opposed roll. Three. Twa. I got four, so now would be an excellent time to spend willpower it and would roll the fail. Burn that will. I'm gonna burn, burn it until it's gone. Burn it real Mark good. off a willpower and re-roll the fail. If you don't succeed, you're still only one shot, so you can succeed at a cost still as a fail safe. Yeah. It's time for a cost. Yeah, cost. I'll it's do it. a cost. Okay. So here's the bargain I'll make with you. You'll be able to succeed. <laughs> But you will trigger the trap that you are trying to find. Mm. That's kind of fun. I'm delighted <laughs> by this. <laughs> yeah, let's now do only, it. Only Amanda knows. Uh, uh, yeah, so. I, I'll. Uh, you do it. She'll do it. I think. Okay. And I'm in there, so this is gonna be great. So oh, you were actually in this space, <laughs> standing there, looking, yeah. feeling around, trying. to I don't find even tell you. I just do it. I no, know no, no, totally, totally. Yeah, but, yeah. It, but it's very much like I'm treating it like um, I'm trying to find a wall safe. Yeah, you it's know like something. Like every here. seam exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Rivets. Is it this rivet? Is it that rivet? Is it the floor? <laughs> I yeah. don't know. When Amanda simply acting as if on a hunch, stares intently at a piece of wall that you haven't examined yet, leans in, just absentmindedly runs her finger down it, which triggers the magical ward that you see. There is a flash of intense lurid light that illuminates like red lightning the interior of this compartment. It practically blinds you, Amanda. Right. There is a searing, burning pain you remember once when you were a young child, you uh, accidentally touched a hot stove? Yeah, and which I actually did because I thought when you turned the burner off, is it still hot? Hurts like <laughs> milk. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it right? is. I did that, yeah. Nothing hurts worse than a burn, and it aches <laughs> for hours. Yeah. The shock of it travels from your palm, up your elbow, to your shoulder, practically to your neck, and 
if you don't want to scream out loud in horrible pain, I'll have to ask you for a willpower roll to control yourself. Okay. Uh, Jeez. How, so there's that as many empty So that is as spots. many blank spots as you have. Yeah, you have and, uh, spent. So you've hunger? already spent two willpower, haven't you? Or one? I spent, spent one. one. Just one. So any blank spots is one black die. No red. So there's no red, no, no blood on this willpower. No blood on, no hunger on this one, and you yeah. cannot re-roll. Mm. God damn it! Wow. And you got the crit. crit. So I'm Fantastic. just very Fantastic! Wow. So oh, roll. You got a critical success. So that's six. Okay. Because the crit is double. Yeah. There we go. Wow, that is incredible. Normally, this would be a terror frenzy. The provocation is very clear, but you've exceeded the boundary necessary. Yeah. So um, you take it. You grit your teeth. You, maybe you bite your lip with your own fangs as the burn it's sizzles, like and you can poignant. smell yeah. cooking undead flesh. Jesus Christ. And as Christ. your hand comes away from the wall, it is a strange charred symbol that you don't recognize seared into her palm, very much like you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm sure. I've um, gotten much cooler. I've upgraded. Oh, well, we've yeah. definitely found it. Fortunately, there's a loud click and the panel slides open. And what you see inside is a kindred. It's a Nosferatu. It's repulsive, has no hair except for three long greasy stringy strands that reach all the way from the crown of its skull down to its neck. Its full head of his ears <laughs> are slightly pointed, maybe a little backlight, mm -hmm. ba uh, bat-like. Um, a terrible overbite, like abnormally big and and uh, outsized, and. Um, he has two cute. very yeah. long fangs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. He's not like, <laughs> like a wretched creature it's a, it's a, type of way. Yeah. Two very, very long fangs protruding over the top, uh, at the bottom of his lip. Um, he's not naked. He's wearing a um, kind of a uh, cable knit fisherman's sweater in a dark color that might have been gray at one time. Like a, like a, like a Dockman sort of? Yeah, uh, he's wearing some heavy duty work pants and some work boots. Um, he looks like he might be dressed for, for dock work or shore work. How big is His the room eyes are closed. that we are in? Like, how much room is there in that he's, this part of the chamber, in this second So he's, he's standing in a space that is very coffin-like in its size. It's just big enough for his body. God, I hope that we'd all be yeah. able to be larger, of, we'd all be able to of, get in. Yeah, he's sort of propped can. up. Mm. And as, as we're like looking upon memory. this creature, and I'm like feeling very triumphant, I also like turn to Amanda and say, Wow, the way you disarmed that trap is amazing. What they say about Tremere is... Uh, it's all true. Like, she, to me, she it looked like it that would be... catching on fire. Uh, I was just like, what? <laughs> didn't we have to remember, she didn't scream, and she just has a mark on her, and I'm like... That's true. That, like, I feel like if any of us did that, we'd be in so much pain, and I don't even know how you, you there, did that. That's insane. It was pretty amazing, and there are circumstances in which uh, witnessing something like that might uh, require you to check for terror frenzy, <laughs> but you weren't close enough, and the flame was so brief mm -hmm. and gone that, um, yeah. uh, that it didn't really... Uh, force your beast into a terror situation. Yeah. Now, Anthony that has Tremere no training. idea what just happened. Yeah, yeah. which um, you have plenty of, right? But he does say, <laughs> uh, in, in other words, he has no idea what you just did. But he yeah. he very astutely points out that that was a ward, that was a, a blood sorcery, that was magic. Well, yeah, but that's why she knew how to disarm all, it. All that training. Oh, did she? She's a Tremere. Is mm. she? Yeah. She's our blood witch. So I've um, mm. yeah, I've taken yeah. She's okay. taken. This is very curious. <laughs> I'm taken. Uh, <laughs> very curious. Played by who? You never <laughs> me and Jameson. So imagine the young like whippersnapper. Yeah. Through everything I'm saying, just like Grim is still in pain because I'm sure oh, it's still yeah. like my flesh is still burning, or is it just kind of so over? So you have you have taken two aggravated wounds. So what that means is um, on your health chart, mm -hmm. um, two of the boxes mark with X's, not a slash. And so just so you know, yeah. I, I have five. Total. Total. Yeah. yeah. And aggravated wounds. They're difficult to heal, so um, not to get too far ahead of ourselves, what yeah. that means is this. These are, um, uh, these are very painful, mm -hmm. and you can only heal one per night, and it's going to cost you, uh, you're going to have to risk a lot of hunger to mm. wheel the blood to heal it. Okay. So you can be, you can be carrying scar. this around for a while. Right. Okay. For now, though, it's a, it's a scar. 
It's very cool. Burned into your hand. It's kind of badass, actually. Did a yeah, I'm like, hey, cool. I'm wondering we'll if I should keep it. Leave it. Body <laughs> modification. <laughs> as a souvenir. Hide it from my dad, like a tattoo or something yeah. like that. Just like, Get the always have gloves on. <laughs> yeah. You no longer have heightened senses active, although you can reactivate it at any time that you okay. want to. Okay. Uh, Anthony looks at you and... Are we, are we, yeah, sit we, tight. We Jameson, doing? should we pop the top on this juice box or what? I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, it's so our job, we, though, right? We have to find out now. But it could kill us all. Yeah, but either way, we die, right? Dead? We have to find out now. Here, I, you have the crowbar, right? I have yeah. a tire iron, yeah. yeah. Get it in. Do it. Uh, it's the work of a couple of seconds to jam the tire iron uh, between the box and the padlock, uh, the key, the one without a keyhole, right. and snap it open. Okay. So it's a, the box is now unlocked. I. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what you're going to find inside. Yeah. There he is. You find uh, a kindred. Mm hmm. Scrunched in this little footlocker sized space. You think maybe you think maybe the legs have been broken in order to fit him in. Um, there is a big wooden stake driven through the vampire's heart. Yeah. Um, the vampire is dressed very plainly. Um, whenever he went into the box, he wore a white dress shirt, which is now got a big hole in it. Um, and he wore a pair of, oh, still is still wearing a pair of dark colored slacks and, um, and some Yeezys. Very, very, <laughs> very good shoes. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I just, I look down uh, at features. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, he has a very uh, plain but lived in face. This face has seen some things and done yeah. some things. The eyes are scrunched up really, really tight. The mouth is sort of twisted in pain. Mm -hmm. And uh, the hair is uh, probably. Um, Kind of a darkish brown, you think, in this light? You're yeah. not sure. Cut in a very ordinary fashion. But I look, I'm looking down at, into this and just thinking about all the, all the events that have led up to it, and more or less what we've been made party to. And I, I say, Betty, is there an option aside from the Camarilla, a functional one, a real one? Oh, this is a hard thing for me as a well, player. <laughs> Betty, you do know what the two other factions are. You I also do. know that some vampires try to remain independent, staying Which free. Which I have for a long time. And yeah, that comes at a significant cost as well. But you know the answer. I don't know the answer. Me either. Honestly, if you want my, my real opinion, when you're kindred, you just choose which boot to be crushed under. Is there another boot? Sure. And for somebody that's tried to live my last 90 years with not licking boots, I can tell you the things I've had to do to stay neutral have probably not been very worth it. I understand you. My family maintains complete neutrality. We no one's talking to you at all. I, I reach in. <laughs> He looks really <laughs> chagrined. <laughs> just I, crushed. I in, just destroyed. He's like, wow, I'm making a friend. Nope, no, I'm not. I, <laughs> I reach in and I take this person out and I put them in basically, uh, like, I stack them in there, like front to back. In, oh, in the passage in next, the, it, uh, in the uh, Right space, next to him, just right, right on next top to of him. Mr. Gravity. And, and, and there's, there's like, a, it's like a doorway hatch, right? Yes. I have my hand on the doorway hatch, and I have my hand on the stake, and I pull the stake and close the hatch. Hmm. That's interesting. So you rip the stake out. Yep, and I the close the door. Chest and close Ooh. the door simultaneously. I, As the door clangs shut, you hear... A terrible sound. The sound of a voice that hasn't been used perhaps in many, many years cry out in heart wrenching agony. Ah! No, let me out! Does the ward reappear? It does not. After he heals, I'm gonna activate heightened senses just to see if so you're going anyone to else hears this. Try to alert yourself. To what's mm -hmm. going on? Mm -hmm. Multiple things happen at once. So yeah. that's your intent. Anthony holds up his hands as if to say, You guys are nuts. Turns around and heads back into the shadows. He's not staying. Jameson, you're going to hold the door. 
Yeah, I mean, my thinking is that this is supposed to be, he's meant to be a juice box, correct? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. It could be they want us to unstake him and kill this man. I don't. Oh, there was we a, didn't really was a, talk about it. The instructions weren't clear. Yeah. No, the instructions. A, and, 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 and I'm fine with that happening right now. That we have. And then I have, I have my hand on the door, and then. I don't know who he is. He uh, said, but I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, Amanda, like, <laughs> Amanda, could you please call the number we were given? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Let me out! Uh, One second. Tom, I, th- I throw my back up against. Um, the door too, just to help Jameson. Just get get yeah. down in here, hold it closed. Let me out, you bastards! No, shut up! Shh. Give, give me a second, just open it for just a second. I open it up with a crack. I say, this yeah. is, I'm not doing this, I'm doing this for her, not for you. It's yeah. Because you said. Okay, you no longer see Anthony anywhere. Yeah. That's fine. You we'll can hear <laughs> footsteps and voices, but you're trying to call on the phone. You can't do both. You can oh. either use heightened senses or make the phone call. I'm making uh, the phone call. You're gonna make so loud. It's gonna be yeah. loud. Can you talk to me? Please. Ah. Betty? The door opens a crack. Okay. He probably looks You can looks see a his surprised. fingers try to get a grip on the outside of the oh, door to like try to shove it against you, but Tom is using his yeah. strength to, yeah, yeah. to hold it in place. I just need to make eye contact for a second. That's plenty. Okay. You know, you open it wide enough to see his face? I'm just going to grab him by the collar and I'm going to use Mesmerize. <sighs> oh. Get everything we need. Mesmerize. This is the brain juicing. Yeah. This is. Sounds but you good. got you were very smart to put him in the closet because otherwise I might have not gotten a chance yeah, to do just, that. This is happening in here. Make a rouse you? check, call in the power of oh. your vampire vitae, your blood, and see what happens. I'm hungry. You yeah. are. You, you, hear, got it yeah, you she hear the voice of your maker inside your head. Beatrice, Beatrice, Beatrice. You should just do what was meant to be done to this poor unfortunate lick and help yourself. Drink him dry, you know you want to. (sighs) Do it. Ruin my lovely blouse. You can't hide from me forever. I will find you. Only she can hear this. And oh, yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. yeah. But I still so, feel weird. The practical upshot, My however, sire is, creepy. is that um, <laughs> you will get to make a roll. The pool is manipulation mm-hmm. plus the dots of your dominate. Uh, you are at um, two hunger, so two of those dice will be hunger dice in that oh, pool. Oh, man, the two threes. Now, now, no. now you have five. Yeah. Now, mm-hmm. this, uh, you will be rolling opposed against his intelligence and his resolve. Now he is at enormous hunger. Oh my gosh. So oh, I bet he shit. is. Yeah. I bet he's real hungry. So this could go badly for everybody. You have some options. Mm-hmm. You could risk another hunger to add an extra die he is a bad for your manipulation. Person. Like in um, real life. You have a 50 50 chance of coming out of that without raising the, uh, the desire to drink. Oh, yes. nice. <laughs> yes. yes. You did it quick. <laughs> Tell your sire to fuck off, right? <laughs> yeah. Screw yeah. that guy. Yeah, and you'd like hear her kind of mutter like, well, I did just fine without you for mm-hmm. several years, and mm-hmm. I'll continue to do just fine without you. And <laughs> I'm a strong, independent woman. Like, Don't pull up your pants <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> yes. If there's a tie, you win it. Oh, God. I got oh, four. Oh, I got three what? successes and a No, I got three, oh. sorry. Well, yeah, it's a failure, missed, but no. it, I don't think it counts. Cause you, how many do you have? Three. It's a tie. I have three. Oh, I win! Nice. Yes. Oh, I win! Yes, tie goes to the yeah, active vampire. Yeah, juice him. Oh, God. Squeeze, get, get those brain squeezes. Mm-hmm. He stops yelling. His eyes sort of glaze over as his pupils get larger and he... Mm-hmm. Looks directly at you. Yes. What do you say? Who are you? My name is Antar. Whoa. That's Which clan do you belong to? I'm the Toreador clan. Why were you placed in this box? I don't know. Maybe, Who? maybe because I displeased some some vampires. Uh, kindred, kindred. I mean kindred. Who? Where? How long? I ignore this question. I look back at them. I say we close the door. I'm just like sitting here. Close it. So long as you hold 
as long as you hold Antar's gaze, oh, right, you, can right, right. Issue, so. you can issue complex commands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they need to be commands. Mm -hmm. you know, tell me X or yeah. do Y. Oh, God. I really want to set this, I really want to fill this debt with a Camarilla. Right? I don't yeah. know. And I say, uh, kneel. He goes to both knees in front of you and looks up, still holding mm -hmm. your gaze, still his eyes locked mm -hmm. on yours. Mm -hmm. And I say, without turning around to the rest of mm -hmm. the, the party, and I say, uh, it's fully open the door. And then I say, <laughs> I'm pre we're pretty sure this guy's a juice box, right? Nice. That's he he my displays the camera. Guess. His his his, pr his torture is probably supposed to be to be eaten by this other vampire. Exactly, but in order for us to wake up our nos, yeah, uh, the that's what I need you to do. The fisherman's friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if we want, if we want to wake Captain up, Gordon here, yeah, exactly, yeah. Captain Gordon. Um, and that's what I'm going to ask you to do. I say, open the door and wake the captain here. So, but Tom, what are you in doing? Torpor, how do I? Well, do that? I was just holding the helping hold the door shut. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm it's Hodor. I'm Hodor right now. Yeah, I'm just trying to help however I can. Your gaze falls upon the footlocker, the steamer trunk, and two things happen. One, you see something else inside, and you recall that you were told to open the box and follow the instructions inside. Oh, Son of a we did not read the fucking manual. There was a lot going on. I think I wrote this. Yeah. Yeah. It's a simple piece of paper. Yep. It's, uh, there are words on it. They're okay. typewritten. Uh -huh. It says, "Do not remove the steak. <laughs> okay. Feed the cannibal's blood to the sleeping kindred, and okay. he will waken." Cannibal. Mm. Okay. Um, He's a cannibal. He's a eaten one of us. Ask. Yeah. Okay, oh. fine. You're right. You're oh. right. Um, so we I ask him. You're supposed to keep the steak in. Well, you have to, it has to be a command. Okay. Right. So, so I say, Put the tell steak me, back in. did you kill one of our own? Yes, I did. Did you break the masquerade? Probably I did. And ask then him, I. Ask him why. Why? For love. Don't Aww. care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jameson? You're so sweet. Yeah. Get, Get this fisherman. Yeah. We have to feed him this man's blood. Exactly. So, what? Uh, Stay put. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Yeah. So, uh, so. I can't like move. <laughs> you, you gotta keep looking at us. The minute you We're break contact, here. contact. Let's go. Get out We're here. done. So I, so I gotta put the I gotta put the uh, the. You gotta put the, the, back the, in this thing. <laughs> yeah, so worry. You wanna yeah. try to restake him? I have to. Because, well, I mean, yeah. I think that was just for convenience. Really, that's, he that's certainly just like to... yellow and blue makes green. I mean, that's mm -hmm. just like the Ziploc, right? <laughs> My Gotta God. keep it fresh. And so... Presuming that he <laughs> keeps his eyes on Betty's and you approach him I from behind, be to, you should be able to stab him. Completely invisible. I would, I would argue that this is a, both, both a surprise attack and a, a, an instance in which he does, simply doesn't even know to resist. Yeah. And so, yeah. Uh, just I like, don't think there's a role it, involved. Is it, Sh you think you think it might be a, a truncated baseball bat that's been oh, sharpened, God. like a Louisville Slugger? Jesus, it's got that that oak. That's my stop. Too. Hey, All right, shove it in. Yeah, just shove it back in. in the same hole. though. You don't make a new hole. Oh no, no. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. I just put it right back. His in. expression doesn't change. Yeah, yeah. And his mm -hmm. eyes remain open, and now they're frozen, and he c is completely immobile in the kneeling position. All right, oh, I, I, I say, I say, Betty, uh, I. Uh, it's possible that. I would hate to presume. Uh, I assume we just. How do we feed him? Yeah. Him. Well, it's uh, it's a kindred, so a removing the vitae from his body is a simple matter of making a cut and mm -hmm. squeezing it out. Putting it in the other dude's mouth. Oh, you just gotta right spray over. him with it. Yep. Well, and then, and then, ideally, and then, some of it goes inside, and then he'll okay. handle it from there. Mm -hmm. We don't know what will happen after this man is revived. Clearly he's valuable to the Camarilla. Yes, but my, my strongest suspicion is that once he is awake, provided we're able to communicate some basic information, I don't think that the JV team out in this boat is going to pose much of a threat to him. That's my suspicion. Speaking of the Correct. JV team, 
Hmm. And unfortunately, the scream of the vampire as the stake was being removed was not something that could be concealed. Yeah. And you don't need heightened senses to hear their approach. Yeah. You, uh, uh, they're, not even, they're not even trying to be quiet. They're moving quickly. You think they might be uh, at, the, uh, at the stairway. Is there a door that I can shut end. off where you we'll could be step alone? Nice. The, uh, you could step inside the fire compartment. Yeah. Okay. All of you could fit yeah, in there. Exactly. So, and while, while they're doing this, um, I just reach down, I grab his hand uh, and just pull it up to my own mouth mm. and slash it. So um, you tear the flesh exactly before, your own And teeth. as you're doing this, I just ask everyone, and I say, uh, I've done some pretty questionable things in my life, mm-hmm. uh-huh. but I want to respect... I don't want to do that. Your <laughs> ability, your, you know? Thank you, Meatloaf. <laughs> uh, we are you... condemning this kindred to a terrible fate. Mm. He... I just want to make sure that... Oh. You're okay with that. This whole vampire, so you're, you're... vampire thing seems like a real raw deal. To me, kind of sometimes is. Yeah. So he's a vampire. He killed. He's a he vampire. Killed one he of kills ours. vampires, and so now a vampire is going to kill him. I mean, I it's, mathematically, I think that. that equals zero. I think it's a wash. Exactly. Good. Oh, good. I'm glad we're all <laughs> yeah. on the same page. And, okay. And I, I stuff his. Bleed him. I, I stuff this shredded <laughs> wrist mm. just right into uh, deadliest catch over here. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Let's uh, let's understand where we are. You have all stepped inside the compartment, the, the yeah, safety compartment. You've closed, you closed those, those bulkhead doors closed. There isn't a way to lock it from the inside, unfortunately. No. You couldn't even hold it closed. There's no handles in here. It's not designed to be, mm. to be shut from the inside. It's kind of dark in here, but you've got your mag light. Mm-hmm. Is this a good plan? Mm-hmm. Well, and you oh are force-feeding yeah. the vampire. What if he wakes up and kills us all? Uh, what if? Well, I'll try. I'll do my best to communicate yeah. to him. I, in the meantime, I drop any pretense of a mask. You oh, are uh, revealed oh, in your glory. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I make a minute jaw adjustment that I think will in- increase my chances. No. Amanda's not watching at all. She's like staring into a wall, like she's just any, any, she looking can't. at any anything if, else. If he wakes up and sees somebody. Even tangentially connected mm. to his clan. Hopefully, that will be a plus. I guess we don't really know what his relationship with them is. This might be done. Okay. Should we tie his yeah. hands before? Anybody hunger for? Nope. You do have rope. I do have rope. You want to yes. lash his yeah. hands? Yeah, as he's force feeding him. Yeah. Just wake him up tie and then. Up, crude mm-hmm. knot. Mm-hmm. It may not quickly. matter. I mean, they want him so bad for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, this is the thing is that. If they if they wanted to kill him, this plan is very elaborate uh, to kill him, to have us do all this shit, and then I mean he's already in torpor. We just stake him and get him out. His destiny is greater than this. You're not wrong, right? And what feeding him the blood of a kindred who's been feeding on other kindred. Uh, what does that do? Oh, it makes you mm. quite a bit more powerful. Hmm. This isn't just any juice box. No, this is like a, a vitamin fortified juice box. If yeah, I mean, would. so what if this is like some kind of attack dog? That it we're... most likely is, and they're most likely banking on it killing us, and it most likely will snap these ropes like they are floss. So we'll try. I, I, I say, I say, this is why I had no particular compulsion toward binding him. I say mm-hmm. we maybe hope the ropes hold long enough to push him out towards our enemies coming down the corridor. Thomas, please. I like please this go idea. Ahead. What if we can seal, up. What if we conceal ourselves in his in here and kick him out and the door? Even, yeah, and just whoop out the door. See what he does to the JV squad. Yes, yes, yes. Do it. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. this is the plan. This is the plan. <laughs> so, so one door opens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so flash. <laughs> you're gonna feed him first. Oh, that, this, you're gonna this, wake him this up. has been active. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh. So. As you're talking, this is the plan that you're setting in motion. Yes, in real time. Yeah, the, we're talking as he's like being the fed. The instant the bloodied wrist touches the horrific mouth with its overbite and its teeth protruding, the eyes snap open like window shades. The eyes that you see, the, um, the irises, are a sort of a, a pinkish red. Uh, they see you, but they don't... 
react. Instead, you hear horrific slurping noises as the Nosferatu vampire drinks from the vessel and drinks and drinks and drinks and drinks and drinks. All of us are just no, all of it. We're all picking him up. The whole thing. This is weekend at Bernie's. Like it's going out the door. Yeah, exactly. All together out. And now he's ready to go. We wind up our little death machine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and Klaus is far it. behind it. His kick it. limbs yes. are moving. He's yes. not quite aware yeah. of his <laughs> surroundings. <laughs> yeah. 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 As he's spoken <laughs> yet, he doesn't want to give up his snack, but so he drags it with yeah, him. That's right. fine. Take it Take with it. you. Take your food to go, and You sir. launch yeah. him outside <laughs> of the compartment. <laughs> Let's get you a box. Yeah. Yeah. You shut the doors behind you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, if they lock, we lock Remember, there's no way to no way to hold them closed from inside. That's okay. We're going to jump out like those novelty snakes. I mean, it'll be fine. Okay. And then from the other side listening. of the door. Can I <laughs> what from the other side of the door, the first thing you hear is the drinking sounds. He's bummed out. <laughs> God, he's gonna come down here for more. We're like all oh, sitting at the door like the Scooby Doo gang. <laughs> There's a thud, probably a body hitting the deck. Thuds him. There's a shout. Hey! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> And then there is mayhem. There is the sound of violence. Bodies hitting bodies, bodies hitting metal, glass breaking, a gunshot. <laughs> you stay, sound of you breaking stay put, put on. You stay hidden. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, we saw yeah. Okay. There's a shout, a scream. There's a sound of something soft being hit. You slammed repeatedly against something a lot harder. Oh dear God. There's a muffled moan. There's the sound that is, you've heard it often enough in your existences to know the sound of breaking bones when you hear them. Mm-hmm. Another gunshot. <laughs> sound of retreating feet. Jesus Christ. And uh, then a few minutes go by and there is silence. You've been in here for maybe three or four minutes. Just kind of. Yeah. Can I? Well, can I use my heightened senses to sort of? You'd like to use your heightened senses? Yeah. Do like some bat sonar type shit. Yeah. Okay. So, um, everybody's quiet. Yeah. Press your ear to the metal bulkhead door. You reach out into the darkened ship with your senses, willing the raw data to come into your your. Uh, your eyes, your ears. You can't see anything. Mm-hmm. And the taste isn't going to be much help, but neither is, is touch. But you can hear. You can hear the sound of footsteps receding at the far end of the engine room, you think, and okay. maybe ascending that metal stairway that you came down. Okay. And absolutely nothing else. Job well done. I think he's gone. Mission accomplished, right? Yeah, let's put one uh, gold star pizza party. That's a W, Oops. everybody. Okay. Oh well, yeah. Good I job. feel like he won that fight. Oh, uh, I yeah. The, I, I huh. think the math is on his. I will. Uh, yeah. I'll push open one of the the doors. Just head pokes out. Yeah. Poke my head out. <laughs> yeah. Is it gopher. Look yeah. at the. Try to identify the bodies, maybe, to see like. Yes. Do make I see sure if he's a, not one of them. A Get all too. the limbs. Pile them up where we think they go. Yeah. You're 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 looking out. Is anybody else joining him, or is it oh, just Tom? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Just all the heads. Yeah. Scooby Doo thing. All the head kicks <laughs> like up out of the top of a nest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the engine room <laughs> is carnage. Uh, there are bits of vampire everywhere, pieces of kindred strewn about the place. Something, you probably your, uh, your new friend, right. has ripped the JV team apart. Um, you're not really sure what some of the pieces are. It's that grotesque. The one thing that you are sure of, however, is that the pieces are decomposing. Oh, Remember rapidly. that these are vampires mm-hmm. 
their kindred. And when they die, their bodies revert to the state that they would be in uh, when age uh. catches up to them. I turned okay. off my heightened senses. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> don't want to be overpowered by that button. Like, oh. um, these no. individuals, the three individuals uh, who were searching the ship, um, probably weren't terribly old, maybe about a decade or so dead, but even so, a decade old body That's smells enough. terrible yeah. and yeah. begins to Funny. fall into pieces. Uh, soon there won't be much left of them except, you know, rotting parts and clothing. Yeah. There is uh, no sign of the vampire, the Nosferatu, that you woke up. But Antar, the individual whom you fed to him, is lying on the deck, also decomposing quite rapidly. His flesh is not rotting, it's beginning to flake into a fine gray ash. Oh jeez. He's old. This, okay, so we have we have like turned the keys on a nuclear warhead for this now, vampire. Let's take a look at some convictions and see whether or not anyone is risk staining their humanity through these actions. <laughs> so we fed him a really old cannibal vampire. Well, well, not like hundreds of years old. Well, okay. maybe because he was in a if modern he became suit. Ash. Yeah, no, he's probably pretty old. Yeah. His flesh is like gone. But he okay. did it for love. Wait. It's probably it's probably I Romeo. Mean, th- th- people Amanda stop for love. Probably did it all for love. Okay. Amanda. <laughs> yeah. You know deep in your heart of hearts mm-hmm. that murder is wrong. Yeah. And this sentient being, these three deaths weigh on your conscience. Yeah. Please roll. All your unmarked humanity. Black dice only. I believe that is eight dice. It is. Okay. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's a pool. Mm-hmm. And a half. You know, what, what's this about? So what's going to happen is, first of all, put two stains on your sheet. Mark off two humanity. Okay. Which, so remove. So remove two. So you've gone from yeah. eight just, to six. Oh, yeah. Now take away one die for each of those stains. So you're now left with six dice. If you get any successes, you will feel remorse, guilt, shame, and your humanity will be preserved. If you get no successes, you're okay with what you did, and your humanity will drop from eight to seven, and you will begin that downward spiral that all kindred have to face. Okay. Damn. Okay. Is this because her humanity was eight? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, cause, well, it's, it's because well, of her conviction. At one point. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. of her conviction. Yeah. She's got a specific okay. conviction that tells her murder is wrong. I don't know if maybe it would have hurt yours, <gasps> too. We'll That's see, I you. guess. Yeah. Fortunate. Yeah. But you barely made it, but you did succeed. So okay. for for the rest of this night and quite possibly for several nights ahead. I think it was actually in line with mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bad about what, so. you, yeah. what you participated in. Right. I'm going to... Relive it many times. Is um, it safe to say that you would like to leave this place? Yes. Can we? Deeply yes. So. Can we please leave? Have, well, everyone's have, upset uh, though. Betty's pretty happy, and I'm like elbowing Jameson, like, oh, we did out. it. Everyone's alive. The cami people owe us now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just, I just. I'm to probably imagine. the only one that's happy. So you're like beaming. <laughs> two more, two more questions, yeah. and uh, one question is: Do you go out the aft? Where the where no. the uh, Nosferatu went, or you go the other direction. The other direction. The other direction. You were dialing the number on the card. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Did you complete the call, or did you stop when you heard those terrible I, noises? Uh, I completed the call, um, and then when he held up the list, I hung up. <laughs> okay, so the call was placed, but you did not answer. Right. Yeah. Okay, so the job done, for better or for worse. You make your way out of the comet and back up into the night. And this is where we end our vampire story for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So good. So good. Good times.